Chapter 1566. Challenge. The Yao clan specialized in alchemy, possessing the largest alchemist organization in the world. Although the Yao clan would feel some pride in their hearts when dealing with the alchemists from the central plains, it must be said that they did indeed have the ability to back up this pride. Perhaps it was due to their bloodline, but it was extremely easy for those in the Yao clan to learn how to refine medicinal pills. Moreover, the clan did not lack individuals with outstanding training talent. Hence, it might be true that the Yao clan did not have a large number of alchemists with skills equivalent to those alchemist grandmasters, quite famous in the central plains, but it was not hard to find outstanding individuals within their clan either. Since they were in possession of such capital, they would inevitably feel pride when compared to other alchemists. Of course, this was merely describing the middle level among the alchemist here. The Yao clan did not hold much of an advantage in terms of the true alchemists that stood at the top of all alchemists. After all, their bloodline strength might allow them to have an easy time learning alchemist skills, but it was impossible to rely on to reach the peak of the alchemist world. At times, such talent might even become an obstruction to reaching the peak level. This could perhaps be considered a slight disadvantage of the bloodline strength. All alchemists were divided from tier 1 to tier 9. Tier 1 was the lowest level, while tier 9 was the highest. Those tier 9 alchemist gurus were further divided into three levels, the treasure pill guru, mysterious pill guru, and golden pill guru. The current Xiaoyan had already reached the treasure pill guru level after having refined a tier 9 treasure pill back then. Of course, this had not been verified by any organizations. At this level, a faction could no longer help him verify his tier because those of his tier were already at the peak of the alchemist world. A mysterious pill guru was considered the peak of the alchemist world on this continent. There was hardly any of them. It had been nearly a thousand years since someone had become a golden pill guru, so no one was able to refine a tier 9 golden pill. Above the golden pill guru was the legendary D class. D was the ultimate and no one could surpass it. For most of those present, the first part of the medicinal ceremony was entertaining to watch. The younger generation of the Yao clan did indeed possess a talent that would cause an ordinary alchemist to envy. Those who had stepped onto the stage were tier 6 or even higher tiered alchemists. Many cauldrons rose, giving the square an extremely spectacular appearance. Of course, from the perspective of those like Xiao Yan, a pill refinement of this level was just like a group of adults watching some small children fight. There was nothing for them to observe. Hence, they merely shut their eyes and recuperated, while there was an uproar over the appearances of many medicinal pills. The first part of the medicinal ceremony lasted for a couple of days. Only then did it come to an end. Fortunately, those present were not ordinary individuals. Many did not even shift their bodies during these few days. Xiao Yan's eyelids slowly opened just before the first portion of the medicinal ceremony came to an end. He glanced over the young individuals from the Yao clan and slightly nodded. After a few days of observation, he had seen just how strong the Yao clan was. Many of their young possessed extremely great talent. If they were lucky, they would be able to gain a seat within the alchemist world in the future. Moreover, by possessing such outstanding new blood, the Yao clan would continuously prosper. Of course, there was naturally a limit to this. If the Yao clan did not produce an elite Du Di following the flow of time, their bloodline strength would gradually be exhausted like the Xiao clan. At that time, the Yao clan would likely be no different than an ordinary clan. Even though that time would come, it was still in the distant future. Thinking of such things now would be worrying for no reason. While observing event over the last few days, Xiao Yan had also seen some familiar figures. That Yao Xing Ji, who had given Xiao Yan the invitation for the medicinal ceremony, had been discovered by Xiao Yan. Currently, Yao Xing Ji's alchemist skills had grown after the last few years of training. He had squeezed into the top five during this medicinal ceremony, which was quite a good result. That champion position had been obtained by that man called Yao Yan, whom Xiao Yan had met outside the demonic flame realm back then. He should be the most outstanding person among the younger generation of the Yao clan. The medicinal pill he had refined had actually attracted a nine-colored pill lightning, which surpassed everyone else. Even some of the elders within the Yao clan smiled upon seeing the colors. However, when their eyes unintentionally landed on Xiao Yan, who was recuperating with his eyes shut beside Yao Lao, the smile on their faces would quickly disappear before turning into melancholy. They had long since heard that Xiao Yan was already able to refine a tier 9 medicinal pill. The pill lightning he had attracted was the black demon lightning. 
Yao Tian's nine-colored pill lightning paled in comparison to him. The atmosphere of this stadium did not quiet down after the competition between the younger generation of the Yao clan was completed. Instead, it suddenly overflowed with excitement. Those many boiling eyes leaped over the stadium and finally landed on those stone chairs. They understood that the main event of the medicinal ceremony was these important individuals standing at the peak of the alchemist world. Ha ha, it is finally about to begin. Yao Lao slowly opened his eyes at this moment. He sensed the temperature of the stadium suddenly rise before laughing. Xiao Yan also grinned. His hand gently touched the jade cup. After observing things for a couple of days, he had unknowingly felt a little itch in his hands. Other than you, those participating in the main event will likely be Hun Yuzi, Old Man Shen Nong, and Elder Wanho. These three individuals are all extraordinary people. In terms of experience, even I am greatly lacking compared to them. Yao Lao said. Yao Dan is not participating? Xiao Yan glanced at Yao Dan in the leader's seat and asked. Being the head of a clan, he must naturally wear a pride that belongs with his title. Yao Lao laughed. He immediately spoke in a grave manner, however, his alchemist skills are not any weaker than the four of you. The clan head of the Yao clan is the leader of the biggest organization in the alchemist world. It would be impossible for him to convince others if he did not have some ability. Xiao Yan laughed. He naturally understood Yao Lao's meaning. Moreover, regardless of how arrogant he was, he would not carelessly underestimate a frightening expert whose strength had reached that of a seven-star Du Sheng. While Xiao Yan and Yao Lao were softly chatting, Yao Dan, who sat in the leader's seat, slowly stood up. At this moment, all the eyes present gathered onto him. Ha ha, the appetizer is over. It is finally time for the main event. This elderly self understands what everyone is thinking. Yao Dan smiled faintly and continued as everyone focused on him. There will be four people competing in this medicinal ceremony. I will not talk any more about these four individuals. I'm sure that everyone here knows them. The final victor among them will gain the title of the top alchemist of the continent. I think that no one will object to the victor taking that title. The four of you, please take the stage. Ha ha, clan head Yao Dan is really forthright. I have long heard that the medicinal ceremony is the top alchemist gathering across the Du Qi continent. The reason I have come here today is to challenge everyone. My Hun clan is a little interested in this title as the top alchemist of the continent. Therefore, I wish to come here and take it. Hun Yuzi's figure took the lead as he appeared in the air after Yao Dan's voice sounded. His calm laughter was provoking. Humph, the Yao clan is a clan which refines medicine. It is perhaps better for this title to remain in the Yao clan. Elder Wanho coldly snorted. His body flashed and appeared in the air. He did not give in as he faced Hun Yuzi. Cheers rose from the surroundings the moment Elder Wanho appeared. This was the home ground of the Yao clan. Naturally, they were unwilling to see someone from the Hun clan snatch away this unusually grand title. Although this elderly self does not have much interest in such vanity, allowing the title of the top alchemist on the continent to land on you is a great insult to the alchemists from my generation. Old man Shen Nong stepped into the air. The walking stick formed by medicinal grass shook in his hand, causing the jade bottles to collide and emit a clear sound. He floated in the air. His tone was calm, but it was obvious that he greatly disliked Hun Yuzi. After all, the Hun clan had an extremely terrible reputation among alchemists. Elder Wanho, Hun Yuzi, Old Man Shen Nong. These three are definitely giants within the current alchemist world. This is really going to be an exciting show during this face-off. The stadium immediately turned into an uproar as everyone looked at the three individuals in the sky. Countless pairs of alchemist eyes were filled with excitement. The level that the three people above them had reached was something that they had been pursuing all their life. Hun Yuzi glanced at Elder Wanho and Elder Shen Nong before smiling. He placed both of his hands behind him. The demeanor of a guru was displayed without a doubt. If one did not discuss character, the attainment of Hun Yuzi in terms of alchemist skills was indeed something that others would look up to. Three of them have already appeared. Who is the last person? Countless pairs of eyes rotated over the three figures, but they quickly slid away. After which, they paused on a black-clothed young man in a stone chair. Xiao Yan smiled as he stood up in front of those many pairs of eyes. His body shook as an afterimage appeared. His body also appeared in the sky as a clear laugh spread. I have long since heard that Elder Hun Yuzi has stolen skills from the Pill Tower. Now the Pill Tower is also a member of the Sky Mansion. 
Being someone from the Sky Mansion, Xiao Yan wishes to represent the Pill Tower in challenging Elder Hun Yuzi. Please try your best to teach me a lesson. End of chapter. Chapter 1567. Life Spirit Flame. Many people quietly started to sweat after hearing Xiao Yan's clear laughter. His words were relatively awful. It seemed that the Sky Mansion Alliance and the Hun clan did indeed resent each other. What razor sharp tongue. If it is about challenging me, even your teacher Yao Chen does not possess the qualifications. Hun Yuzi faintly laughed, but his face did not reveal the slightest anger because of Xiao Yan's words. It seemed that he boasted an extremely good temperament. However, the eyes he used to look at Xiao Yan were densely cold. There was a vague murderous intent surging in them. Ugh, teacher said that I should be able to deal with you. Hence, there is no need for him to intervene. Xiao Yan fondled his chin. The smile on his face was quite brilliant. Nevertheless, the words he spoke clearly did not give Hun Yuzi any face. Ha ha, in that case, I am rather curious. Hun Yuzi softly laughed. After which, he ceased uttering any unnecessary words. With a wave of his sleeve, a black flame erupted from his body in all direction. It formed a thousand-foot-large black fire cauldron in the sky in front of him. There was a strange devouring power vaguely emitted from the fire cauldron. Nihility devouring flame? Xiao Yan, Elder Wanho, and Old Man Shen Long suddenly focused their eyes. They cried out in deep voices as they looked at the fire cauldron being formed by the black flame. It is unexpected that such a heavenly flame has actually landed in the hands of the Hun clan. Old Man Shen Nong frowned. His eyes were filled with a grave expression as he looked at the black fire cauldron. Being one of the elders within the alchemist world, he was clearly aware of the might of the Nihility Devouring Flame. Summon the heavenly flames within your bodies. My Nihility Devouring Flame craves their taste. Hun Yuzi smiled as he looked at Xiao Yan and the other two and laughed. It is merely the seed flame of the Nihility Devouring Flame, yet you actually act so domineering? Xiao Yan softly laughed. Although the feeling that the Nihility Devouring Flame within Hun Yuzi gave him was far stronger than that of the Chief of the Hall of Souls, it was still unable to reach the frightening level of the true Devouring Flame. Clearly, the Nihility Devouring Flame in this person's hand was also a seed flame. Hun Yuzi narrowed his eyes slightly upon hearing Xiao Yan's tone. He had not expected Xiao Yan to be able to identify the flame this quickly. However, he immediately laughed. Xiao Yan was able to recognize his Nihility Devouring Flame, but Xiao Yan was unaware that his Nihility Devouring Flame was not an ordinary seed flame. The Nihility Devouring Flame was extremely mysterious. Only a few rare individuals were even aware that the seed flames of the Nihility Devouring Flame could be separated into different levels. Among the many ordinary seed flames were two types of mysterious seed flames. They were called the Heaven and Earth Seed Flames. The Nihility Devouring Flame in his hand was the Earth Seed Flame. This so-called Earth Seed Flame could be considered a baby form of the Nihility Devouring Flame from a certain point of view. Its might was far from what the ordinary seed flame in the hands of the Chief of the Hall of Souls could compare with. Although such a seed flame was relatively powerful, if the mother of the flame was damaged, the many seed flames connected to it would automatically disappear and turn into essence energy that would gather in the main body. Such a matter was considered a secret. Even Yao Lao and Xiao Yan had never heard of this information. Hence, they were only able to identify the heavenly flame in Hun Yuzi's hands as a seed flame. They could not identify that it was the boss of the seed flames, the earth seed flame, but even if they had recognized it, Xiao Yan's expression would not pale. The purifying demonic lotus flame within his body had mutated after merging with so many heavenly flames. Forget about this Nihility Devouring Flame only being a seed flame. Even if the true Nihility Devouring Flame were to descend, Xiao Yan might not even fear it. Whether you can swallow our heavenly flames will depend on your ability. Elder Wanho coldly snorted. He immediately waved his sleeve. A faint black wind suddenly whistled out of it. The wild wind swiftly moved through the air. If one were to look carefully, one would discover that it was not a fierce wind, rather it was a mysterious flame. Nine Serene Wind Flame. Xiao Yan was a little surprised as he glanced at the wild wind flame that had been summoned by Elder Wanho. It was not the first time he had seen this Nine Serene Wind Flame. When he had met Yao Xing Ji back then, Yao Xing Ji had been carrying this heavenly flame, but from the looks of it, it seemed that this heavenly flame had been taken back. Ha ha, old man Wanho, you are becoming more proficient in your usage of this nine serene wind flame. Old man Shen Nong laughed out loud after seeing Elder Wanho summon the heavenly flame. 
The medicine grass walking stick and his hand gently pressed down on empty space. He laughed, in that case, this elderly self will also have to perform. After uttering these words, the medicinal ingredient walking stick and his hand self ignited without the presence of a flame. A liquid-like green flame slowly rose. Finally, it swelled with the wind. Layer after layer of a fog rose from the green liquid-like flame. The countless mysterious medicinal ingredients slowly grew while the fog rose. They emitted a life force, which caused one's expression to change. This is. The heavenly flame ranked fifth on the heavenly flame ranking. Life spirit flame? Surprise flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes as he observed the spreading life force. A strange expression flashed through his eyes. The life spirit flame was ranked fifth on the heavenly flame ranking. This heavenly flame was extremely mysterious because most flames were filled with a destructive force despite their many forms. However, this life spirit flame did not display an overly strong destructive force. Instead, it was filled with a life force. It was rumored that when such a heavenly flame was used, any medicinal ingredient seeds within it would swiftly sprout and grow. In other words, one would not need to worry about searching for medicinal ingredients with such a heavenly flame. As long as one possessed sufficient seeds, one would be able to obtain the medicinal ingredients one needed. Thus, this flame was extremely mysterious. Moreover, this life spirit flame was considered a longevity flame. The person who obtained it would have a lifespan comparable to those magical beasts famous for their long lives, but the only disadvantage was that this flame was not suitable for combat. It did not really increase one's fighting strength. Xiao Yan had also heard about this life spirit flame, but this was the first time he saw it. That rich tempting life force caused one to feel relaxed and full of energy. Han Yuzi's eyes stared intently at the life spirit flame in old man Shen Long's hands. A greed flashed across his eyes. Everything in this world possessed a limited lifespan. If one could obtain this flame of life, one would be able to greatly extend one's life. That allure was relatively intense even to someone like him. It is actually the life spirit flame. Old man Shen Long, you are quite lucky. Elder Wanho's expression was also a little envious as he stated with a smile. When this life spirit flame was formed, its intelligence would be relatively high. Normally, it would not appear in the shape of a flame. Instead, it transforms into various medicinal ingredients. After which, it simply quietly takes root in the soil. At times, it was impossible to identify it even if one were to walk past it. Only those who were extremely lucky would be able to find it in the soil. Ha ha, I was merely lucky and unexpectedly found it while I was searching for medicinal ingredients. Old man Shen Nong fondled his beard and smiled as he replied. Being able to obtain such a heavenly flame was quite a joyous thing for someone like him, who did not like to compete with others. I heard that young friend Xiao Yan has subdued the rumored purifying demonic lotus flame. I wonder if this is true? The eyes of old man Shen Nong suddenly landed on Xiao Yan as he laughed. Xiao Yan was looking at the green sea of fire above his head with a strange expression from a short distance away. Ha ha, I am merely just lucky like elder. Xiao Yan smiled. A fire glow rose on his shoulder. Little Yi appeared in a flash. Immediately, his eyes revealed an expression of disdain as he glanced at the other three clusters of heavenly flames in the sky. The only one that could appear in such a form was Little Yi. This is. Heavenly Flame Spirit? The few people in the sky revealed a slightly different expression upon seeing Little Yi on Xiao Yan's shoulder. Their eyes became a little grave. They could sense an intelligence that was not inferior to that of humans from Little Yi. Being existences that stood at the peak of the alchemist world, they naturally understood just what a heavenly flame spirit represented to an alchemist. The legendary heavenly flame constitution would allow the heavenly flame in the spirit's hand to reach a near-perfect extent. That level was something that even people like them, whose spiritual strength had reached the perfect heavenly state, could not compare with. Although the heavenly flames in their hands were quite strong, they had still yet to reach the extent of forming a heavenly flame spirit. My Hun clan has targeted the purifying demonic lotus flame for so many years, but it has unexpectedly ended up landing in your hands. But it doesn't matter. These things will sooner or later end up being taken back by us. Hun Yuzi's eyes flickered while a chill surged within them. Young friend Xiao Yan is really blessed. Back then, this elderly self once tried to subdue the purifying demonic lotus flame. However, I was nearly killed within the demonic flame realm. Old man Shen Nong fondled his beard and laughed. Xiao Yan smiled. After having experienced the demonic flame realm, 
he naturally understood just how difficult it was to subdue the purifying demonic lotus flame. If he had not possessed a remnant of the purifying demonic lotus saint's soul, it was likely that he could only flee far away. Although old man Shang Nong was an outstanding alchemist, one could not rely on alchemy when trying to subdue the purifying demonic lotus flame. If the four of you have prepared, please open your cauldrons and refine your pills. Yao Dan in the leader's seat withdrew his envious gaze from Little Yi as he spoke in a clear voice. Xiao Yan faintly laughed after hearing command. Little Yi on his shoulder widened its mouth. A thumb-sized pink fire cauldron flew out. It swelled with the wind and turned into a thousand-foot-large fire cauldron that floated in the sky. Many fire dragons lingered around the fire cauldron. A low and deep dragon roar echoed from it, and in an instant, the temperature of the stadium swiftly rose. End of chapter. Chapter 1568. Alchemy Contest. The other three individuals withdrew some distance away, while Xiao Yan's fire cauldron expanded. They separated this wide sky into four areas. Han Yuzi's body flashed and appeared above the black fire cauldron. After which, he sat down. With a wave of his sleeve, tons of medicinal ingredients flew out in all directions. In an instant, a rich medicinal fragrance immediately spread through the sky. While he began to refine a medicinal pill, Elder Wanho in the distance had used the Nine Serene Wind Flame to form a fire cauldron. At their level, they could do without medicinal cauldrons because they could randomly use their heavenly flames to form high-quality medicinal cauldrons. The person who had created the biggest commotion was Old Man Shen Long. The liquid-like green flame sea swiftly spread before he sat down within the sea of fire. He waved his sleeve and many medicinal ingredient seeds containing a strange fragrance swiftly scattered. Finally, they fell into the sea of fire. After which, the seeds swiftly sprouted in front of many stunned eyes. After which, they rapidly grew within the fiercely burning flame. Old man Shen Long smiled as he looked at the rapidly growing medicinal ingredients. He flicked his finger and ripples formed in the sea of flames. They swiftly agglomerated into droplets of a pure green liquid. It was vaguely possible to see traces of fire seedlings rising from the liquid. A rich life force seeped out it. The green liquid stopped above many medicinal ingredients. After which, a drop quietly dripped down after this fire liquid entered these medicinal ingredients, the medicinal ingredients appeared to have consumed a catalyst. Their rate of growth soared. Within a dozen minutes, the many seeds turned into various rare medicinal ingredients before they grew some more. They moved joyously within the green sea of flames. It is indeed worthy of being the life spirit flame. Xiao Yan in the distance involuntarily praised after seeing this mysterious scene. Other than possessing a weak combat ability, this life spirit flame was really the heavenly flame that was the dream of all alchemists. It would truly be a divine object in the hands of the Pill Tower or the Yao clan. Although Xiao Yan understood that spurring the growth of the medicinal ingredients would greatly exhaust a user, many of these medicinal ingredients required at least a hundred years to grow. This exhaustion was not worth mentioning compared to such a long period of time. Xiao Yan withdrew his attention after praising the flame. He looked at his huge pink cauldron, and with a wave of his hand, densely packed medicinal ingredients flew out of his storage ring. Finally, they stopped around the fire cauldron. The number of various medicinal ingredients were terrifying, causing many alchemists to feel somewhat speechless. Compared to the way these four individuals refined pills, the pill refinements earlier, including the nine-colored pill lightning Yao Yan had attracted, felt small and insignificant. Go. Xiao Yan's shoulder shook after summoning the medicinal ingredients. Little Yi flew out and entered the fire cauldron. Then, a crack was formed in the fire cauldron. A suction force surged and swallowed the thousands of medicinal ingredients floating in the sky. After which, a flame suddenly grew within the fire cauldron. He actually wishes to refine so many medicinal ingredients together? Even the faces of those elders from the Yao clan involuntarily twitched upon seeing these ingredients fly into the cauldron. The required composition of the thousands of medicinal ingredients that needed to be refined were all different. Could it really be possible to simply throw them all into the fire cauldron together? Yao Lao in a VIP seat merely grinned as he watched Xiao Yan. He had a relatively confident in Xiao Yan, since Xiao Yan's skills as an alchemist had long since surpassed his teacher. Just how on earth did this fellow train? He is about our age, yet this fellow possesses the qualification to compete with Elder Wanho. Ugh. Many of the members from the younger generation from the Yao clan below the stage had clustered together, but the extremely proud youths from the Yao clan were currently suffering a great blow as they looked at the sky. 
Even Yao Yan, who had obtained the best result during the earlier part of the medicine ceremony, displayed a gloomy expression. Although he was very dissatisfaction in his heart, the enormous gap between Xiao Yan and him could not be ignored. Besides Yao Yan, the icy cold Yao Ling, who had been doted by everyone, was also watching the calm young figure in the sky with pretty eyes. This was the first time in so many years that she had seen someone similar to her age compete in terms of pill refinement with the elders of the alchemist world like Elder Wanho. Such an achievement was something that caused even a blessed genius like her in the Yao clan to involuntarily feel an admiration within her heart. Yao Xing Ji, he did not appear this strong when we met him in the Gu clan back then, did he? Yao Ling turned her head to look at one of her suitors beside her. At that spot was another person from the Yao clan, the one who had given Xiao Yan the invitation to the medicinal ceremony, Yao Xing Ji. At that time he was merely an ordinary Du Zun. Although his spiritual strength was powerful, it had not reached such a frightening level. Unexpectedly, he has already reached such a level within a short few years. Yao Xing Ji bitterly laughed. There was an unknown feeling in his voice. When he had met Xiao Yan back then, Xiao Yan boasted a similar strength. If the both of them were to engage in an alchemist match at that time, it would have been difficult to predict the victor. However, who could have imagined that there would be so a vast gap between the two of them when they next met? His spiritual strength already belongs to the same level as Elder Wanho. Perfect heavenly state. Yao Ling's pretty eyes looked at the figure in the sky. An unusual glint flickered in them. Her soul was different from an ordinary person since she had been born. The clan head had once said that if she was sufficiently lucky, she might even be able to step into that legendary D-state soul. She had always been proud of her spiritual strength. Even her extremely talented older brother was weaker than her in terms of spiritual strength. Xiao Yan was the only person in the same generation to surpass her in terms of spiritual strength. The thousands of medicinal ingredients in the sky were all swallowed by the fire cauldron before Xiao Yan sat down. Being in possession of the heavenly flame spirit, his control while refining pills, was a lot more relaxing than the others. With little Yi helping to perfectly control his heavenly flame, refining medicinal ingredients was a simple and ordinary task. A fierce pink flame wrapped around the fire cauldron like a huge fireball. Every couple of minutes, many small fireballs would rush out of the fire cauldron. Finally, they would rotate around the fire cauldron. These fire clusters were encasing different medicinal liquids and powders. All of them were necessary medicinal ingredients refined until they were very pure. The three others in the sky were also refining a large number of medicinal ingredients, while the number of fire clusters floating around Xiao Yan's fire cauldron was increasing. Although they did not possess a heavenly flame spirit and were unable to catch up to Xiao Yan when it came to the effectiveness of their refinement, they were still gurus. Refining medicinal ingredients was a basic task. It was clearly not a problem to them. Many alchemists in the stadium watched the extremely smooth medicinal refinement methods in the sky. Their faces were completely immersed while a wild heat glowed in their eyes. This medicinal ingredient refinement continued for around a day before Xiao Yan finally took the lead to open his eyes. He looked at the densely packed fire clusters floating around the fire cauldron before he let out a deep breath and gently waved his hand. Many fire clusters rushed back into the fire cauldron. Soon after, a shocking energy fluctuation wildly spread from the medicinal cauldron. Even the fire cauldron had shook until it emitted a buzzing sound. Soon after Xiao Yan had completely refined the medicinal ingredients, Han Yuzi opened both of his eyes. He threw the many medicinal liquids that he had refined into his fire cauldron. After which, his hand seal changed. A loud cry sounded, the world's strength, listen to my order. After Hun Yuzi's cry sounded, a wild wind suddenly swept through the sky. An endless naturally energy gathered around the fire cauldron from all directions. Finally, it was devoured by the suction force being emitted. This terrifying devouring made the energy form a mottled energy storm, which crazily howled in the sky before it was completely devoured by the fire cauldron. This terrifying pill refinement aura caused many people to quietly swallow a mouthful of saliva. They had not heard that they needed to absorb natural energy when refining pills because extra energy would at times break the equilibrium of the medicinal properties, resulting in failure. However, this thinking clearly belonged to an ordinary person. The Yao clan elders and some alchemist gurus revealed shock on their faces at this moment. Even Yao Dan in the leader's seat showed an extremely grave expression. Gathering natural energy to refine pills, this method, he is actually planning to refine a tier 9 mysterious pill. 
The activity caused by Hun Yuzi was detected by Xiao Yan and the other two. Elder Wanho knit his eyebrows. He let out a cold snort and changed his hand seal. A stern cry also sounded, natural energy, gather. Many members of the Yao clan were excited to hear Elder Wanho's cry. He was also planning to refine a tier 9 mysterious pill. Ha ha, since the both of you have acted in such a grand fashion, this elderly self must naturally not fall behind. Elder Shen Nong laughed upon seeing the energy gather. He waved his sleeve, and the surrounding natural energy once again became chaotic. Waves of majestic energy were dragged into the fire cauldron in front of him. Since the three of you are in such a mood, Xiao Yan can only join all of you. Xiao Yan faintly smiled as he watched the natural energy get dragged around in a chaotic fashion. The seal formed by his hands changed. A frightening suction force was emitted from his fire cauldron that forcefully dragged energy in, fearlessly snatching natural energy. The many alchemists present watched as waves of thunder roared and energy storms erupted in the sky. Their hearts were startled. The four of them were actually refining legendary tier 9 mysterious pills. Such a scene was indeed an extremely rare occurrence. End of chapter. Chapter 1569? Snatching Energy. The four of them are all refining tier 9 mysterious pills. Yao Dan watched these unusual phenomenons form in the sky from the leader's seat. His expression involuntarily became a little strange. With his eyesight, he was able to see through the battle of these four individuals. He might not be aware of the other's abilities, but he at least understood Elder Wanho well. Elder Wamuo's alchemist skill might be quite great, but his chances of successfully refining a tier 9 mysterious pill likely did not exceed 20%. Moreover, the refinement of a tier 9 mysterious pill required the absorption of a relatively terrifying amount of natural energy. Although the energy within a 5,000-kilometer radius of this medicine mountain was extremely dense, it was clearly impossible for it to support the formation of four tier 9 mysterious pills. Based on his estimates, even if all of the energy within a 5,000-kilometer radius of this medicine mountain was absorbed, it would be somewhat difficult to refine a tier 9 mysterious pill. Moreover, these fellows were refining four of them together. If it was so easy to refine a tier 9 mysterious pill, it would not be so rare in this world. Yao Dan slightly shook his head. He did not think that any of the four individuals would be able to successfully refine this pill in his heart. Hence, the four of them would likely fail and end up in a draw during this competition. Of course, his eyesight was sharp, and it was possible for him to look quite far ahead. However, the others did not possess such eyesight. Hence, all of them revealed shocked and joyous expressions as they stared at the sky. This unusual pill refinement scene was really extremely rare. Yao Lao also frowned as he sat in his seat. Although he was aware that Xiao Yan had obtained an extremely rare tier 9 mysterious pill medicinal formula from the first elder of the pill tower before leaving, he had not expected Xiao Yan to pick it as his target this time around. Although a tier 9 treasure pill and a tier 9 mysterious pill was only a one-word difference, the gap between them was like the heavens and the earth. Although it was rare to find an alchemist who could refine a tier 9 treasure pill on the continent, it was not impossible, but in the last hundred years, Yao Lao had never heard of anyone successfully refining a tier 9 mysterious pill. From this point, it was possible for one to vaguely understand the difficulty of refining a tier 9 mysterious pill. The energy in the distant sky crazily whistled before gathering into four huge tornado. One side of the tornado was connected to a fire cauldron, while the other was wildly absorbing the rich natural energy. This natural energy continuously poured into the fire cauldron. The people around the stadium suddenly felt the dew key within their bodies, showing signs of breaking free from in the face of this all-out suction from the four individuals. Immediately, a shock rose in their hearts. They hurriedly pulled back in panic, afraid that the dew key within their bodies, which they had obtained after much hard work, would be dragged away by the four storms in the sky. If that occurred, their losses would be far too great. This unusual phenomenon in the sky continued for a total of three days. During this period of time, everyone lost track of the amount of energy that had been absorbed. They could only sense that the flowing energy in the surrounding air had become a lot thinner. The medicinal ingredients around the stadium had even begun to show signs of turning into a withering yellow. Their energy had been forcefully sucked away. Refining a tier 9 mysterious pill could basically be described as man creating a divine object. The energy needed to form it was frightening large, enough to shock many elite du shengs. It had once been recorded in the ancient books that wherever a tier 9 mysterious pill was born during the ancient era, 
Everything within a 5 km radius would turn barren because all the energy had been absorbed by the medicinal pill. This energy requirement was the reason why a tier 9 mysterious pill would possess a shocking intelligence the moment it was born. Of course, there was still some difficulty if it wished to reach the level of the ancestor from the small pill tower. The ancestor's formation was partly due to luck. Moreover, the pill had merged with its owner's soul when it had been formed, resulting in the ancestor of the pill tower undergoing a transformation. After thousands of years of training, it had finally reached its current stage. Normally speaking, the ancestor was considered a completely unique existence. Although the members of the Yao clan felt some heartache for those medicinal ingredients that had turned yellowish, there was nothing they could do. Some of the Yao clan elders had quickly intervened and hurriedly placed some seals on the more precious medicinal fields around the Medicine Mountain. Otherwise, this Medicine Mountain would end up barren once the competition was over. The endless devouring continued for a total of three days. By noon of the third day, everyone suddenly sensed a non-stop whistling in the sky suddenly become much quieter. They lifted their heads and saw the four huge tornado quietly disappear. Four thousand foot large fire cauldrons floated in the sky. An extremely shocking energy fluctuation vaguely spread from them. The ripples caused even the expressions of Xiao Yan and the three others to appear unusually grave. If the energy were to explode, they would at least be seriously injured if they even managed to keep their lives. All the energy within a 5,000 km radius has been absorbed. Yao Dan grabbed at the empty air in front of him before helplessly shaking his head. The energy contained in the air had reached a frighteningly low amount. It would require at least a couple of months in order for the Medicine Mountain to recover its richness. There is insufficient energy in this place. The pill refinement has failed. The many elders from the Yao clan felt neither able to laugh nor cry. The embryonic form of the medicinal pills within the medicinal cauldrons of the four figures in the sky were only half complete, but the surrounding natural energy within a 5,000 km radius had all been absorbed. There was no longer enough energy to support their pill refinements. The perfect heavenly state only allowed the four of them to control the natural energy within a 5,000 km radius. Of course, if their souls had advanced to the legendary D state, things would be completely different. At that time, one would be able to control the energy wherever one's spiritual perception could reach for one's own use. It was rumored that during ancient times, those ultimate experts, whose souls had advanced to the legendary D-state, could control nearly half of the central plane's energy with their thoughts. Just thinking of this level caused one to feel frightened. The eyelids of Xiao Yan and the three others in the sky were opened at this moment. They looked at the half-completed embryonic medicinal pills within their medicinal cauldrons and frowned. If they were unable to continue drawing energy from the surroundings, just their own do key alone not enough to fill this huge pit. Looks like no one will be able to succeed this time around. Elder Wanho bitterly laughed and shook his head. He, that may not be true. Elder Wanho's words had just sounded when a strange laughter surfaced from Hun Yuzi in the distance. The seals formed by his hand suddenly changed. Finally, his hand ruthlessly slammed against the fire cauldron in front of him. Three clusters of black flame pillars erupted and turned into three crazily rotating black holes in the air above the fire cauldron. A frightening devouring force surged. The vast and mighty energy that was absorbed by the fire cauldrons belonging to the other three during the last few days had turned into many light pillars that were forcefully swallowed by the black holes. Hun Yuzi, how dare you? The expressions of the three immediately became gloomy upon seeing their energy being sucked away. They had not expected this Hun Yuzi to be this bold. He had directly targeted them. Old man Shen Nong and Elder Wanho furiously cried out. The life spirit flame and the nine serene wind flame immediately swept out and ruthlessly collided with the black holes, but this sudden assault caused the black holes to rotate with increasing speed. The devouring power erupted and swallowed both of their heavenly flames. Old man Shen Nong's and Elder Wanho's expressions immediately became ugly after seeing that their obstruction was futile. The life spirit flame might be ranked quite high, but it was more famous for its aiding ability. If they were to really battle, it was impossible for the life spirit flame to be a match for the nihility devouring flame. The nine serene wind flame was merely ranked tenth. It was extremely difficult for this flame to make up the gap between it and the nihility devouring flame. Ha ha, the both of you actually wish to stop my nihility devouring flame with these types of heavenly flames. You must be dreaming. Hun Yuzi loudly laughed, but his laughter had just sounded when his expression changed. His eyes hurriedly shifted to the black hole above Xiao Yan's fire cauldron. 
he saw a fire glow shoot out from that fire cauldron. After which, it turned into a fire baby. The fire baby wore an expression of disdain as he waved his small hand. A pink flame surged and wrapped around the black hole. The devouring power of the black hole was eroded by a mysterious purifying force the moment it met the pink flame. The nihility devouring flame possessed a devouring power, while the purifying demonic lotus flame possessed a purifying force. Although it was difficult to determine which was stronger, the purifying demonic lotus flame in Xiao Yan's hands not only possessed a heavenly flame spirit, it was also a genuine essence flame. On the other hand, Han Yuzi merely controlled a seed flame. It might not be an ordinary seed flame, but it was obvious that it could not compete with the purifying demonic lotus flame that little Yi had transformed into. Han Yuzi, thank you for your gift. I will accept the energy within this heavenly flame. Xiao Yan slightly smiled. He purified that black flame into pure energy and poured it into the fire cauldron. Light surged within the fire cauldron, and the embryonic medicinal pill became more solid. This brat. Han Yuzi's expression sank as he sat in the distance. He had not expected to not only be unable to devour any energy, he had also lost a bit of energy for his seed flame. After suffering such a loss, he could only cease targeting Xiao Yan. Although his nihility devouring flame seed flame was hard for old man Shen Nong and elder Wanho to deal with, it was clearly far from sufficient to deal with Xiao Yan's purifying demonic lotus flame. Humph, you will not be able to remain pleased for long. Han Yuzi's eyes flashed as he coldly laughed. The seal formed by his hands changed, and the black holes devouring the energy from old man Shen Nong's and elder Wanho's cauldrons suddenly started to devour more. With an increasing amount of energy pouring in, his embryonic medicinal pill became brighter. According to this speed, it was actually showing signs of forming. Soon. A joy flashed across Han Yuzi's face when he saw it solidifying. However, the moment joy appeared, a pink flame suddenly rushed over. It turned into a fire baby that stood on his fire cauldron. The baby curled his mouth in disdain. After which, he slammed his palm on the cauldron cover and subsequently grabbed the embryonic pill in front of Han Yuzi's stunned eyes before escaping as smoke. You are seeking death. The dullness continued for an instant before Han Yuzi's furious roar suddenly rippled across the sky. End of chapter. Chapter 1570. Pillarain. The change of the situation was extremely comical. Little Yi had suddenly charged into Hun Yuzi's fire cauldron and grabbed the embryonic medicinal pill that had yet to take shape. This had not only caused Hun Yuzi to become furious, even Xiao Yan was stunned. This matter had nothing to do with him. Little Yi had taken his own initiative. Yao Dan and the many elders from the Yao clan on the stadium watched this scene with a stunned expression. A moment later, their faces twitched. They had comical expressions of wanting to laugh but forcing themselves not to. No one had imagined that Xiao Yan's heavenly flame spirit would be so extreme. Han Yuzi had merely snatched some of their energy. Yet, it ruthlessly charged into the other party's fire cauldron and snatched the embryonic pill away. You deserve it. Han Yuzi's actions early had irritated the elders from the Yao clan, so they laughed in a soft gloating fashion. Yao Dan, who was in the leader's seat, shook his head without knowing whether or not he ought to laugh or cry. A proper medicinal pill competition had ended up in this strange situation where the competitors snatched from each other. This caused one to feel helpless. This little brat really doesn't follow an ordinary path. Yao Lao chided with a smile. He was unaware that this matter was completely unrelated to Xiao Yan. In front of many gazes, little Yi in the sky flashed and appeared in front of Xiao Yan. That small fleshy face was laughing. His hands were hugging a light cluster that was larger than his body. If one saw through the light cluster, one would vaguely see a baby-like light figure. This was the embryonic form of the medicinal pill Hun Yuzi had been refining. Xiao Yan, I will rip you into pieces today. The sound of wind and thunder exploded a short distance away. Hun Yuzi's face was densely cold. His demeanor from earlier had been destroyed by little Yi. This was the first time that he that such a thing had happened to him. The embryonic pill he had refined after much hardship had been taken away by little Yi, even before he could see its shape. The fury within his heart could not be described with words. After Hun Yuzi's furious cry sounded, a black flame suddenly shot out of his fire cauldron in all directions before it turned into a black fire dragon that crazily rushed toward Xiao Yan. Its huge mouth was filled with an endless devouring force. Hun Yuzi, since you like energy, this elderly self shall give some to you. 
A green sea of flames suddenly swept over from below after the black fire dragon rushed forward. Countless huge trees grew almost instantly. After which, they appeared like vines as they entangled the black fire dragon. Old man Shen Nong, you actually dare oppose me? Although the sudden attack did not really harm black fire dragon, it had still managed to obstruct it. Han Yuzi's expression immediately turned cold once the dragon was slowed. He looked at old man Shen Nong in the distance and cried out in a stern voice. This elderly self has already lived for so long. I have never been afraid of anyone. If I have the ability, I wish to eliminate a traitor like you who has betrayed your teacher. Otherwise, you bring shame to the face of all alchemists. Old man Shen Nong coldly laughed as he replied to Hun Yuzi's sharp cry. His tone appeared quite sharp. Given your strength? Are you sick of living, old fellow? I have not even begun targeting that life spirit flame of yours, yet you dare to provoke me. Hun Yuzi's eyes were dark and cold. A savage smile lifted on the corner of his eyes. He clenched his large hand, and the black fire dragon roared at the sky. It opened its huge mouth toward the green sea of flame below. A devouring power erupted as it swallowed the green sea of flames into its body. Woo! A pale black tornado was ruthlessly swung ruthlessly into Hun Yuzi's body, just as he was about to swallow the sea of flames. A flame exploded and actually sent the black fire dragon flying. Wanho, is your Yao clan trying to become enemies with my Hun clan? Hun Yuzi's expression became extremely terrifying after being obstructed again. A devouring look shot toward Elder Wanho in the distance as he demanded in a dense voice. The competition has nothing to do with the clans. Don't tell me that only you are allowed to attack me, and I am not allowed to do the same? What a joke. Elder Wanho waved his sleeve and ridiculed Hun Yuzi. All right, all right. The corner of Hun Yuzi's eyes twitched. He ended up laughing from extreme anger. His arm continued to tremble from anger. Strange black flames wiggled like poisonous snakes deep within his eyes. These flames were about to escape from his eyes when Hun Yuzi appeared to have thought of something. He hesitated for a moment and withdrew his gaze. He coldly laughed, you are thinking of blocking me with the strength of the both of you? The black fire dragon suddenly rushed forward after his voice sounded. It firmly wrapped around the tornado that the nine serene wind flame had turned into. The two enormous creatures wildly churned in the sky. Hot rain made of fire descended from the sky. Fortunately, with the intervention of the elders from the Yao clan, the Medicine Mountain was not destroyed by the rain made of fire. Xiao Yan watched the three great heavenly flames engage in a chaotic battle a great distance away. He involuntarily felt a little surprised that old man Shen Nong and elder Wanho would intervene and lend him a hand. It seemed that it was really not easy to deal with Hun Yuzi. There is not much time. I must first extract the energy from this embryonic pill. The thought passed through Xiao Yan's heart. After which, he returned his focus to the embryonic pill from earlier. The energy needed to refine a tier 9 mysterious pill was far too shocking, but if he added Hun Yuzi's embryonic pill, he would gain a higher chance of success. Snatching the energy from someone else's embryonic pill was an action that could not be undertaken by a regular alchemist because the two types of medicinal pills were different. The pill refinement would end in failure if they were randomly mixed. However, Xiao Yan did not worry about such a concern. With the purifying ability of the purifying demonic lotus flame, anything that entered Little Yi's body would be turned into the purest energy. This included the various medicinal properties in the embryonic pill. Little Yi. Little Yi, who possessed a mental connection with Xiao Yan, was aware of the thought that had passed through Xiao Yan's mind. He widened his mouth and devoured the embryonic pill. A vast and mighty energy crazily surged within his body before rapidly swelling. He transformed into a giant baby that remained suspended in the sky. Chi Chi. After Little Yi's body swelled, the light cluster within his body brightened. The light cluster then transformed into a huge light pillar that shot into the fire cauldron. The frightening energy contained within the light pillar was so vast and mighty that it caused one's expression to change. Bastard. The embryonic pill had finished being refined. Hun Yuzi, who had some connection with it, immediately sensed something. His eyes turned blood red. A furious cry sounded. His figure charged into the black fire dragon. When his body entered it, the fire dragon's strength immediately soared. The dragon tail was swung, exploding the green sea of fire and the black fire tornado apart. Xiao Yan frowned as he looked at Hun Yuzi, who had charged over with a surging killing intent. He flicked his finger, and a black light flashed and appeared beside him. The northern king's feet ruthlessly slammed against empty air. 
its body appeared like a cannonball as it collided with the black fire dragon. An unusually intense battle erupted. The cluster of light within Little Yi's body slowly dimmed after Xiao Yan summoned the Northern King to fight Hun Yuzi. Finally, it disappeared. The energy inside his body had been purified and had poured into Xiao Yan's fire cauldron. It's still not enough. Even though the energy within the fire cauldron had become as viscous as a liquid after having devoured Hun Yuzi's embryonic pill, it still did not show any signs of forming. Xiao Yan frowned upon noticing this resistance. The energy that a tier 9 mysterious pill required was far too frightening. Xiao Yan, the medicinal properties of my embryonic pill, were disturbed by Hun Yuzi. Today, I shall give you a blessing. Whether you can refine the tier 9 mysterious pill that I have sought for all my life will depend on your luck. Old man Shen Nong in the distance quickly saw through Xiao Yan's situation, while Xiao Yan was feeling a headache because of the issue of energy he waved his hand and a cluster of light flew out of his medicinal cauldron. Finally, it shot word little Yi. Thank you elder Shen Nong. Xiao Yan rejoiced upon seeing the light shooting over. He cupped his hands and thanked old man Shen Nong. Ugh, I have not seen a tier 9 mysterious pill be born for hundreds of years. This time around, I will treat this as an eye-opener. Elder Wanho by the side hesitated for a moment after seeing what old man Shen Nong did. Finally, he softly sighed and tossed the embryonic medicinal pill in his medicinal cauldron to Xiao Yan, in front of the stunned gazes of many Yao clan elders. Thank you very much. Xiao Yan took another glance at Elder Wanho. His heart had formed a good impression of this member of the Yao clan, the first good impression of the entire clan. He cupped both of his hands and ceased delaying. After which, he tossed the two embryonic medicinal pills into Little Yi's body. They immediately turned into two vast and mighty light pillars that shot into his medicinal cauldron. After an incomparably mighty energy poured in, the liquid energy surging within the fire cauldron rapidly melted. A faint light slowly appeared in the middle of the cauldron before filling with liquid energy. Rumble. Dark clouds began to cover the clear sky at the moment this tiny light spot appeared. The black mass covered the land. Black thunderbolts, which carried a destructive force, rapidly shuttled through the clouds. The deep roar of rumbling thunder caused many people to reveal stunned faces. It was the first time they had seen such terrifying pill lightning. Xiao Yan lifted his head. His eyes were wildly heated as he looked at the black lightning that covered the sky. His sleeve suddenly shook, and the fire cauldron's cover was automatically flipped. A wave of medicinal fragrance that would not scatter swiftly spread apart. In the end, it formed various beads of different lusters that descended from the sky, as though a grand pill rain was occurring. The divine scene made the hearts of many alchemists involuntarily quiver. They actually began to kneel down. Yao Dan in the leader's seat inhaled a deep breath of air as he watched the scene. His voice trembled slightly as he softly muttered. Pill rain descends, Mysterio pill appears. End of chapter. Chapter 1571? Borrowing Jade. Da da. Pills poured down from all over the sky and landed on the square, emitting a clear rain droplet-like sound. This kind of pills might not be considered medicinal pills, but they are formed from pure energy. Consuming it would be greatly beneficial to one's body. Xiao Yan's body was suspended in the sky. Even with his calmness, his eyes involuntarily revealed an expression of wild joy. He had heard about the phrase pill rain descend, mysterious pill appears. However, it was the first time he had personally witnessed such a mysterious scene. It has. Actually really succeed. Xiao Yan received a medicinal pill with his hand, which trembled slightly. This result had completely exceeded his expectations. Even with his current ability, his chances of success in refining a tier 9 mysterious pill would not exceed 40%. However, if one was to really discuss about this pill refinement, there was indeed some element of luck within it. A medicinal pill contained the energy of four embryonic pills. This kind of matter could be described as extremely rare. The four embryonic pills contained various different medicinal properties. Although most of the medicinal strength had been turned into pure energy after Little Yi's refinement, there was still a trace of medicinal property lingering within it. These slight medicinal properties would merge into Xiao Yan's embryonic pill and mix together. Adding the fierce refinement by the purifying demonic lotus flame, it had underwent a slight change that no one could expect. The result of that change seemed to have made up for some imperfection within the embryonic pill and result in the successful refinement of this pill. If any one of these various coincidences were to be not exist, it was likely that even if Xiao Yan had absorbed the energy from the three embryonic pills, he would likely end up failing. 
however, there was no ifs in this world. Everyone present would not bother about this kind of imaginary ifs. They could see with their own eyes that Xiao Yan had actually successfully refined a tier 9 mysterious pill. The tier 9 mysterious pill, which no one had successfully refined in hundreds of years, had descended in front of their very own eyes. Rumble. The black lightning-like huge python wildly shuttled through the thick dark clouds in the sky. That ferocious heavenly might cause the necks of many to shrink. They were afraid that the black thunderbolt would descend onto their heads. Bang. The thousand feet large fire cauldron suddenly trembled while dark clouds churned in the sky. Immediately, a light pillar erupted into the sky. It was vaguely possible to see a egg-like light cluster within the light pillar. The enormous light pillar was inserted into the thunderclouds in front of many pairs of eyes. Immediately, the thundercloud churned intensely. Many black lightning lingered around the light pillar in a densely packed manner like some howling black pythons. Finally, they ruthlessly smashed towards the cluster of light egg within the light pillar. Bang bang bang. This earth-shaking like strike caused even the entire medicine mountain to tremble. A deafening sound continued to appear unceasingly. Xiao Yan's expression was anxious as he looked at the cluster of light egg under the lightning that covered the sky. Within it was the tier 9 mysterious pill. Once it experienced this lightning tribulation, it would be able to break out and appear. No one was able to aid it in such a matter. Even Xiao Yan could only choose to observe from the side. A tier 9 mysterious pill was different from other medicinal pills, which allowed others to block the pill lightning. This kind of mysterious pill required the energy within the lightning to allow them to become completely perfect. Under Xiao Yan's anxious eyes, the cluster of light egg within the light pillar not only did not shatter, but had instead become even brighter. Traces of black lightning arcs continued to flash over the egg. Crack. Those wild and fierce explosions continued for over 10 minutes before it gradually showed signs of weakening. The lightning had only just weakened when a slight cracking sound was emitted from the egg. Everyone immediately felt their hearts shook. Their eyes stared intently at the egg. It was possible to see a small crack line suddenly spreading on its surface. Crack crack crack. After the appearance of the first crack line, a domino effect seemed to have been created. An increasing number of crack lines appeared on the egg. Trace of light seeped out from within, causing the egg to be filled with a glaring light. Boom. A black thunderbolt suddenly rushed down from the sky, just as the crack lines gradually covered the egg. That ruthlessly smashed onto the egg itself. Immediately, the many crack lines suddenly spread. Finally, it emitted a bang and finally exploded apart. A shocking medicinal fragrance spread in the sky the moment the egg exploded. The medicinal fragrance lingered and agglomerated into the shape of many medicinal herbs, which covered the sky. This appeared extremely mysterious. Swoosh. A light figure suddenly flashed and appeared in the sky, while everyone were absent-minded because of this unusual scene in the sky. Immediately, it swiftly rushed out of the medicine mountain with lightning-like speed. The rich medicinal fragrance behind it was so dense that it also appeared to have a form. That is the tier 9 mysterious pill. It is actually intending to escape. The entire mountain turned into an uproar after this light figure appeared. Countless of people suddenly stood up. Their eyes were heated as they looked at the light figure in the sky. Greed surged from deep within their eyes. There was hardly anyone who could remain calm in the face of the temptation from a tier 9 mysterious pill. Humph. However, an icy cold snort resounded over the sky while greed rose in some people's hearts. This immediately caused their hearts to turn cold. They woke up and hurriedly and quickly withdrew their feet, which was about to step forward. It was likely that trying to snatch the tier 9 mysterious pill from the hands of someone who had defeated the chief of the Hall of Soul was not a simple task. A pair of green-red bone wings appeared behind Xiao Yan after deterring these people who were ready to cause trouble. His body moved and he appeared in front of the light figure. His hand slammed forward in the process. Yellow spring palm. An enormous energy handprint suddenly descended from the sky while being accompanied in intense wind pressure. It ruthlessly smashed onto the light figure. The handprint scattered the light on the surface of the figure. A trembling naked figure appeared in front of everyone's eyes. The figure had long black hair with a delicate and gentle beautiful body. Those pretty large eyes contained some horror as they looked at Xiao Yan. That pitiful appearance stirred the protective desire of many people. It already knows how to use this method to confuse others after having just been born. A tier 9 mysterious pill really lives up to its reputation. Xiao Yan's eyes were surprised as he looked at the naked beautiful lady. However, he simply laughed softly and said, a medicinal pill does not have any gender. 
You have turned into this appearance of yours a moment ago, right? After hearing Xiao Yan's words, the originally pitiful looking beauty was immediately startled. Her body pulled back hurriedly. Xiao Yan took a stride forward and directly appeared in front of the lady. He pointed with his finger and it landed on his forehead with lightning like speed. A spiritual imprint appeared. Following which, the lovely figure of the lady trembled and it gradually became illusory. Finally, it turned into a round medicinal pill the size of a dragon eye, with various unusually fragrance lingering over it. Xiao Yan took out a jade bottle from within his storage ring. After placing a few layers of spiritual seals on it, he finally carefully placed this tier 9 mysterious pill inside. This pill had an extremely vast and mighty energy. Unfortunately, it did not know how to use it. Otherwise, even Xiao Yan would not have such an easy time subduing it. Seeing this, Xiao Yan placed the medicinal pill into his storage ring. Many people below revealed an expression of disappointment. However, the former ignored them. He turned around and looked at Hun Yuzi, who was still engaged in an intense battle with the Northern King. He involuntarily laughed and waved his hand. The Northern King pulled back and floated beside him with indifferent eyes. Ha ha, thank you for the gift. Xiao Yan laughed and cupped his hands together towards Hun Yuzi, Old Man Shen Nong and Elder Wang Ho, after having kept the Northern King. Old Man Shen Nong and Elder Wang Ho smiled faintly upon hearing this. However, Hun Yuzi's expression was distorted. He did not expect that the embryonic pill, which he had bitterly refined for a couple of days, had ended up aiding Xiao Yan. There are talents in every generation. Young friend Xiao Yan's accomplishment in terms of alchemist skills is really breathtaking. It is likely that no one in this alchemist world will be able to compare with you. You are indeed worthy of being the top alchemist. Old man Shen Nong beckoned with his hand. The green sea of flame in the sky turned into a medicinal herbs walking stick and appeared in his hand. He glanced at Xiao Yan and laughed. This Yao Chen is indeed taught an incredible disciple. If I have known this, I would not have allowed Yao Wangi to randomly do as he pleased back then. The many elders from the Yao clan had complicated expressions upon hearing these words. They looked at each other and could only sigh quietly. Regardless of how proud they were, they had no choice but to admit this at this moment. Clan head Yao Dan, Xiao Yan still have another request to make today. Xiao Yan glanced at Yao Lao. After which, he looked at Yao Dan on the leader's chair, cupped his hands together and said. I know what you wish to say. Yao Dan's expression was a little complicated. He sighed softly, glanced towards Yao Lao and said, Yao Chen, from today onwards, you are perhaps the most outstanding talent within the Yao clan. You can leave whatever you like on the clan tablet. Thank you clan head Yao Dan. Yao Lao's hand trembled gently. His long cherished wish was finally realized at this moment. Even with his calmness, his heart was still extremely excited. Ha ha, clan head Yao Dan, I also have a request to make today. Hun Yuzi in the sky suddenly opened his mouth and laughed with a strange expression the moment Xiao Yan sighed in relief. Oh. Yao Dan frowned slightly. He looked at Hun Yuzi's expression. A caution surged into his heart. Please speak. The smile on Hun Yuzi's face became even stranger upon seeing this. He licked his mouth. His next words, however, caused the expressions of everyone to change drastically. I wish to temporarily borrow the Tushi ancient god Jade from the hands of the Yao clan. End of chapter. Chapter 1572. Shocking change. A rock stirring a giant wave. After Hun Yuzi uttered these words, the stadium, which had turned into an uproar because of the birth of the tier 9 mysterious pill, became completely silent. The expressions of all the elders from the Yao clan turned gloomy at that instant. A cold glow flashed within their eyes. Each of the eight ancient clans had one part of the Tushi ancient god Jade respectively. All of the clans treated it as a great treasure and kept it safe. Even an ordinary elder would not be able to see it. This matter might not appear unusual in the eyes of those who were unaware of it, but those who did looked at Hun Yuzi as though they were watching a lunatic. How would it be possible for the Yao clan to loan such a treasure to him? Could it be that this person had gone crazy? This fellow? Xiao Yan knitted his brow tightly as he looked at Hun Yuzi. The strange smile on the latter's face caused him to feel that something was not quite right. Uttering such words to the Yao clan was undoubtedly challenging the prestige of the Yao clan. Given this fellow's tier 6 Du Sheng class strength, it was impossible for him to escape from the hands of Yao Dan. Something is not quite right? Xiao Yan's many years of experience had also allowed him to become extremely sensitive. He felt that something was not quite right. This Hun Yuzi was not a fool. 
he should understand just what kind of treatment he would receive from the Yao clan by uttering such words. Yet, he was unafraid. Xiao Yan's heart involuntarily sunk slightly after he thought of this. His body moved and he appeared beside Yao Lao. His expression was grave as he softly said, be careful. Yao Lao also nodded gravely. He could sense that this Hun Yuzi was a little strange. Elder Wan Ho's expression was dark and solemn as he stood in the sky. His eyes were filled with murderous intent as he looked at Hun Yuzi. Once Yao Dan gave the order, he would immediately attack with all his strength and kill this person, who dared to challenge the prestige of the Yao clan in front of so many people. Hun Yuzi, do you know what you are saying? Yao Dan looked at Hun Yuzi in the sky from his leader's seat without any expression. However, there was a sharp chill flashing over his eyes. His voice did not contain any emotions as it was slowly emitted from within his mouth. Ha ha, clan head Yao Dan, the Tushi ancient god Jade is something that brings disaster. It will only bring a calamity to you if it remains in the Yao clan. Handing it to me in exchange for your safety might be a little better, right? Han Yuzi laughed. It was as though he did not feel the murderous intent surging within Yao Dan's eyes. Han Yuzi, you are acting too fearlessly. Today, I will first capture you and get the clan head of your Hun clan to come and bring you back. The expressions of Elder Wanho turned completely gloomy as Hun Yuzi's words sounded. A furious cry sounded. Vast and mighty Du Qi suddenly swept out in all directions. His body flashed and he appeared above Hun Yuzi's head. The large flame wind gathered into a huge palm as it ruthlessly smashed towards the ladder. It is almost time. Hun Yuzi merely smiled faintly in the face of the ferocious attack from Elder Wanho. He lifted his head and looked at the distant sky before muttering to himself. Immediately, a strange grin appeared on the corner of his mouth. The black flame deep within his eyes surged out wildly like a furious dragon, which had been suppressed for a long time. After the black flame surged, Hun Yuzi's aura also soared suddenly. Bang! Hun Yuzi waved his sleeve as he stood in the sky. That ordinary palm collided with the enormous wind flame palm. After which, everyone were shocked to find that the wind flame palm was completely devoured into Hun Yuzi's upon contact. On the other hand, that elder Wanho, who had a shocking aura, seemed to have suffered from a serious blow. A mouthful of fresh blood was spat out and his body flew backwards. Finally, it landed miserably onto the stadium below, smashing and forming a huge deep pit in the process. Ha ha, I have accompanied all of you to play for such a long time. Just treat this as some interest. Hun Yuzi's long air fluttered in the absence of any wind as he stood in the sky. Both of his eyes had already been completely covered by a black flame, giving him an exceptionally strange appearance. His faint voice resounded over the entire stadium as this occurred. Seven Star Du Sheng. Everyone's expression had changed drastically at this moment. They looked at Hun Yuzi in the sky with disbelief. The aura that the latter had emitted earlier had far surpassed Elder Wanho. This fellow has actually been hiding his strength. Don't tell me that he really intends to snatch the ancient jade of the Yao clan? Yao Lao softly said. His expression changed as he watched this scene. Xiao Yan's expression had become extremely grave at this moment. Both of his eyes stared intently at Hun Yuzi. Since the very beginning, he actually failed to discover that this person was hiding his strength. Even in his fury from having the embryonic pill being snatched away, he was actually able to suppress his strength. This fellow is really scheming. However, could it be that he really wished to snatch the ancient jade from the Yao clan, with just his strength? Yao Dan's expression had finally turned completely dark and cold as he stood on the leader's seat. He slowly stood up and stared intently at Hun Yuzi. He spoke in a dense voice, send the signal. Inform the Yan clan and the Lei clan. Tell them. We have found the perpetrator responsible for the disappearance of the Ling and Shi clan. Everyone had a change in expression after Yao Dan's words sounded. Even Xiao Yan's body trembled suddenly. They lifted their heads and looked at Hun Yuzi in a shocked manner. It was really. Done by the Hun clan? Understood. Although those Yao clan's elders trembled after being frightened by Yao Dan's words, they still quickly took out a scroll and swiftly opened it. A spatial fluctuation quickly spread. However, these spatial fluctuation was about to agglomerate into a spatial tunnel when it seemed to have to disturb by something. Immediately, it shook intensely. The tunnel, which had just been formed, disappeared in an instant. Many people in the Yao clan felt their hearts turn cold upon seeing this scene. Some of the elders were quick to react and hurriedly let out the emergency siren within the clan. Immediately a commotion broke out in the neighboring mountain range had. 
densely packed Yao clan's warriors hurriedly broke through the air and arrived like a swarm of locusts. Hun Yuzi, what have you done? An elder of the Yao clan cried out in a stern voice. Ugh, it looks at it is completed. Hun Yuzi smiled slightly while standing in the sky. He did not even give those Yao clan's warriors, who had hurried over, another glance as he spoke casually, nothing. I have merely locked the Yao clan's realm. A commotion was stirred below after these words sounded. Those various experts, who had come to observe the medicinal ceremony, had a drastic change in expression. They took out their spatial scroll and quickly tore it apart. However, the result was exactly the same as what had happened earlier. Something big is about to happen. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of cool air. His expression had become unprecedentedly ugly. He did not expect that the Hun clan's target would actually be the Yao clan. Moreover, no one had expected that they would come when the Yao clan was holding the medicinal ceremony. Yao Dan's expression was gloomy. His finger pressed on a storage ring and directly shattered it into dust. The ring could specially transfer the fluctuation to the Yan clan's and the Lei clan's heads. Only the three clan heads could possess it. Ha ha, clan head Yao Dan, there is no need to waste your effort. Hun Yuzi laughed. Yao Dan ignored his words. His eyes stared at his finger and indeed saw that the fluctuation, which had appeared at that spot, had begun to randomly roam around like a headless housefly. Clearly, it could not be transmitted out of this place. Yao Dan's heart had completely sunk upon seeing this. Hun Yuzi, my Yao clan and the Yan clan, has already built a spatial tunnel. If they discover that the tunnel has vanished, they will definitely know that something has happened to my Yao clan. The Gu clan will definitely not sit back idly and watch when news spread. If our four clans were to join hands, your Hun clan will definitely be destroyed. Yao Dan's heart might have sunk, but he was after all the head of a clan. He immediately recovered his calmness and spoke in a deep voice. My Hun clan is able to eliminate the Ling and Shi clan without the Gu clan detecting anything. Naturally, we can also let your Yao clan quietly vaporize from this world. Hun Yuzi spoke in a feigned voice. With just you? Yao Dan's body slowly rose into the sky. The frightening aura of a seven-star Du Sheng erupted without being held back. That powerful pressure was actually even stronger than that Hun Yuzi. This strength was indeed worthy of the head of a clan. Elder Hun Yuzi, this is a matter between your Hun clan and Yao clan. It has nothing to do with us. I hope that you will show mercy and allow us to leave. We will definitely repay you in the future. Those many chiefs and elders from the various sects who had come to observe the medicinal ceremony hurriedly cried out respectfully when Yao Dan rose to the sky. At this moment, they had also felt some panic. The previous example of how the Xi'an Ling clans were completely wiped off allowed them to understand that they would definitely die if they were to be dragged into this matter. Ha ha, that is only naturally. Those who are not from the Yao clan can leave. I will not stop you. Hun Yuzi smiled warmly and said after hearing this. Thank you elder. Many people from the various sects rejoiced upon seeing this. They did not dare to utter any unnecessary words as they turned around and rushed towards the entry to the Yao realm with all their strength. Xiao Yan looked at the backs of these people and frowned slightly. Having dealt with the Hun clan many times before, Xiao Yan naturally understood just how ruthless these people were. It was clearly impossible for them to allow anyone to leave. Ha ha. This thought had only just flashed across Xiao Yan's heart when countless of black light flashed over the distant horizon. Miserable cries immediately sounded. Howl howl. Everyone were shocked to see an endless black flame seeping out from the emptiness while the black light flashed in the distance. Finally, it spread in all directions and covered this entire place. Everything became dark almost instantly. This is the genuine nihility devouring flame. Xiao Yan looked at the black flame seeping out from within the emptiness. His eyes suddenly shrunk. Little Yi had also opened its eyes within his body. That tender little face was unusually grave. Clearly, even it had sensed an intense danger. Hun Yuzi was suspended in the sky. There was a monstrous black flame behind him. He smilingly lowered his head and looked at Yao Dan. Both of his arms were slowly whitened. The smile on his face became increasingly strange. Yao Dan, I am honored to announce to you that the Yao clan is finished. End of chapter. Chapter 1573. Actual form. The black flame blotted out the sun. This entire place was enveloped by it. Under the cover of this black flame, everyone below suddenly felt the dew key within their bodies beginning to gradually disappear. It was as though there was something invisible continuously devouring the dew key within their bodies. 
This discovery immediately caused countless of people to become terrified. From the fate of those who had attempted to flee earlier, it was clear that the Hun clan did not intend to leave behind any survivors. Hence, this entire mountain range had become chaotic at this moment. No one could have expected that an ordinary medicinal ceremony would actually end up turning into this. Be careful, the entire place is filled with extremely tiny nihility devouring flame. Even Du Qi cannot block this thing. Xiao Yan's hand landed on Yao Lao's shoulder. Pink flame covered the both of them. The fire lotus deep within his eyes rotated. Based on his eyesight, this place was current filled with tiny black light spots, which could not be detected with the naked eyes. These light spots would land on one's body like maggots in one's bones. After which, they would continue to devour the Duki within one's body. In the face of this kind of devourment, it would be completely useless for these people to use Duki to cover their bodies. Those black light spots would quietly merge into the Duki defense the moment they made contact with it. The realm has been sealed. It looks like the Hun clan does not intend to leave anyone alive. Yao Lao spoke with a grave face. Are these people finally planning on acting after being quiet for such a long time? Xiao Yan frowned tightly. It seemed that they had terrible luck. They had actually walked directly into the hands of the Hun clan. However, they did not have any choice. Even if they could guess that the Hun clan would attack the Yao clan, they would not be able to guess that the Hun clan would strike at this moment when it was most impossible for them to act. Looks like the low profile the Hun clan has kept during this period of time is related to this matter. They had also been unusually quiet when the Shi clan had vanished the last time. Yao Lao was a little vexed as he said. He had actually failed to consider this. Originally, he thought that after the Yao clan, Yan Kla and Lei clan formed an alliance, their lineup would cause the Hun clan to carefully consider their actions before they act. Unexpectedly, they had still failed to block the schemes of the Hun clan despite this. No wonder the Hun clan did not dispatch any experts, despite seeing the Sky Mansion Alliance destroy the Hun clan. It is likely that despite being cautious of the Gu clan, they were also preparing to attack the Yao clan. Xiao Yan also nodded. Now that this had happened, he had also gained answers to some of the doubts that he had before. It was not that the Hun clan did not wish to kill him. Instead, it was because the latter had more important things to do. Between the matter of killing Xiao Yan and dealing with the Yao clan, the Hun clan would naturally choose the latter. In their eyes, Xiao Yan might be strong, but he was still far from able to reach the level of the Yao clan. What should we do now? Yao Lao asked in a deep voice. If this situation today was not handled properly, the both of them would end up meeting a mishap. From the way the Hun clan was able to quietly eliminate the Ling and Xi clan, the former's strength should have far exceeded their expectations. All we can do is wait quietly and observe the situation. If the Hun clan really intends to attack, the Yao clan will definitely retaliate. At that time, we will take the opportunity to find a way to escape. Xiao Yan replied in a deep voice. He did not have some grand thought of rescuing the Yao clan. This was because they were currently unable to even take care of themselves. Where would they get the mood to bother about the Yao clan? Whether the Yao clan could overcome this great calamity would depend on their fate. Yao Lao also nodded quietly. Although he was also a member of the Yao clan, his feelings for them was far too thin. He might feel a little terrible that the Yao clan had met with such a disaster, but he would not demand that Xiao Yan rescue them because of it. In his heart, Xiao Yan's position was far more important this foreign and cold clan. Yao Lao floated in the sky. He looked at the monstrous black flame in the sky that spread to the horizon. His expression was also extremely gloomy he could sense an extremely terrifying aura from within. All members of the Yao clan, listen up. Activate the heaven-transforming Yao formation. Yao Dan inhaled a deep breath of air. A decisive stern cry resounded. This time around, he could sense a danger that he had never detected before. Such a danger allowed him to understand that the survival of the Yao clan would be determined today. The hearts of all the members of the Yao clan trembled after Yao Dan's stern cry sounded. The heaven-transforming Yao formation was the Yao clan's guardian formation. This was the first time it was activated since the ancient times. From this, one could tell just what kind of great danger had befallen the Yao clan. Buzz buzz. All the melders from the Yao clan rapidly shot out numerous light pillars that shot into this mountain range at this moment. Immediately, the mountain shook. Many huge light pillars broke out from the mountain. Finally they entwined with each other and formed a huge strange formation. 
All the precious medicinal ingredients on this moment withered the moment this formation was formed. Endless energy erupted and poured into that large formation. Swish swish swish. At this moment, almost everyone from the Yao clan then gathered the Du Qi within their bodies into a light pillar, which shot into the huge formation from all directions. The light formation brightened, and a terrifying pressure similar to that of a walking huge dragon that was in a slumber for thousands of years, was emitted. The entire Yao realm trembled intensely as this pressure was released. Vast and mighty energy continued to gather in the direction of the formation. What a terrifying pressure. By being within the large formation, even Xiao Yan's expression had become grave as he looked at the bright glaring huge light formation. This kind of pressure could likely be comparable with an eight-star elite Du Sheng. The foundation of this Yao clan was indeed extraordinary. This is the Yao clan's guardian formation. It has never been activated. Unexpectedly, this time around. Yao Lao's expression was complicated as he looked at the light formation and said, it is rumored that this formation was created by the Yao clan's founding ancestor. A trace of his soul fragment had been left behind. If it is activated, it might be able to block the Hun clan. Founding ancestor. The corner of Xiao Yan's eyes twitched. The only one who could be called the Yao clan's founding ancestor was likely the elite Du Di, who had founded the Yao clan. Ha ha, is this the Yao clan's guardian formation? Its strength is indeed much stronger than the Ling and Shi clan. Han Yuzi looked at the somewhat frightening energy surging within the large formation below. He turned around in front of the many pairs of eyes and bowed towards the monstrous black flame. He respectfully said, Nihility sir, you might perhaps have to intervene in order to break this formation. After Hun Yuzi's respectful voice sounded, it was possible to see that the black flame behind him had actually begun to wiggle slowly. The black climb climbed and slowly agglomerated into a human figure. Finally, it appeared in front of the countless pairs of eyes. Black flame covered that figure, while many strange black symbols covered his body. His eyes appeared just like black holes and were filled with a terrifying devouring power. He stepped on the black flame and stood in the sky. Due to him being covered by the black flame, his appearance was somewhat vague. However, waves of extremely ancient and strange aura slowly appeared in this place when it appeared. Woo woo. The nihility devouring flame all over the place emitted some strange wind after the black flame person appeared. It was as though they were respectfully welcoming their owner. Nihility devouring flame. Xiao Yan's eyes stared intently at seemingly demon-like figure. His heart suddenly pounded intensely. Given his understanding of the heavenly flame, he was naturally able to immediately identify that this figure was the actual body of the Nihility Devouring Flame. The true Nihility Devouring Flame. This Nihility Devouring Flame has actually also formed a heavenly flame spirit. Yao Lao looked at Xiao Yan. His mouth was dry. This Nihility Devouring Flame and the purifying demonic lotus flame in the demonic flame realm were similar existences. It was even a little stronger than the purifying demonic lotus flame. What a terrifying aura. This fellow is stronger than even Yao Dan. Xiao Yan licked his mouth. A great storm surged within his heart. This was the first time that he had ever met such a powerful heavenly flame. It was likely that this fellow had existed for an even longer time than the purifying demonic lotus flame. The demonic god-like powerful figure slowly lowered his head in front of the countless pairs of shocked eyes. He looked at the large formation with a vast and mighty strength below. Monstrous black flame churned intensely above his head. Finally, it turned into densely packed black fire rain that descended towards the large formation from all directions. Chi Chi. White smoke began to erupt from the formation as the black fire rain fell. Everyone could sense that the energy within the formation was being devoured by the fire rain. Yao clan, you will still be able to survive if you surrender. We still have some use for your Yao clan. Black fire rain came pouring down from the sky. The lush green mountain range immediately turned yellow. It appeared as though all life had been devoured. At the same time, a harsh voice, which caused even one's soul to tremble, was slowly emitted from that demon-like figure. It will not be so easy to swallow my Yao clan. Yao Dan's face revealed a ferocity at this moment. He let out a stern cry and countless of light pillars gushed out from the medicine mountain and directly charged into the formation. From the corner of Xiao Yan's eyes, he could clearly see that there was actually various different medicinal pills packed densely together within the light pillar. The frightening numbers caused him to inhale breath of cold air. It seemed that the Yao clan had completely used all of their collection. 
With the surging of a sea of medicinal pills into the formation, a decisive expression also surged onto Yao Dan's face. Tens of thousands of pills forming the sky. In the name of the pills, founding ancestor return. End of chapter. Chapter 1574. Yao Di's soul fragment. Bang bang bang. Countless medicinal pills rushed into the large formation from all directions. They were quickly turned into powerful energy. At the end, one could see that the energy within the large formation seemed to have turned into a liquid sea. Lightning-like loud sound was being emitted as it flowed. Founding ancestor return. Yao Dan's hands formed many seals. His expression was ferocious as he suddenly cried out sternly. Crash. After the stern cry sounded, a swirl quickly appeared at the middle of the formation. An endless amount of liquid energy continued to surge into it. At the same time, an extremely ancient aura also slowly spread from within the swirl. The swirl rotated rapidly before quietly disappearing. At this moment, a linen-clothed illusory elderly figure appeared. Buzz. All the members of the Yao clan suddenly felt their souls trembling violently the moment the illusory old man appeared. A kind of pressure that originated from their bloodline immediately caused the countless figures present on this mountain to kneel down. Founding Ancestor. The many Yao clan's elders were so greatly affected that tears flowed from their eyes. Their faces appeared a little crazy because of the excitement. Under the stimulation of their bloodline, the figure was just like a god, which they could not offend, in their hearts is this the Yao clan's founding ancestor soul fragment. Xiao Yan's expression was solemn as he looked at the figure. Even with his perfect heavenly state soul, he felt some difficulty breathing under the figure. This was merely a soul fragment that had remained for a seemingly endless amount of time. It was difficult to imagine just what kind of level a true elite Du Di would possess. Yao Lao's body trembled slightly, Ash stood beside Xiao Yan. He looked at the illusory figure at the middle of the large formation with eyes that were filled with fear and respect. Han Yuzi's eyes also became grave as he stood in the sky. The pressure that the illusory figure gave him was incomparably strong. This Yao clan was indeed not as easy to deal with as the Ling and Shi clan. Regardless of how it struggled, however, it would also have difficult escaping from the same fate. Ugh, Yao Di. Those black hole-like eyes of the black flame human figure beside Hun Yuzi also stared at this illusory figure. A moment later, he emitted a soft sigh with some unknown feelings. Unfortunately, the ultimate expert from back then is currently just a soul fragment. Founding ancestor, please bless our Yao clan. Yao Dan knelt down in the sky and let out a low respectful cry. Yao clan. The old man in rough linen clothes within the formation let out a low mutter. The long flow of time had left his little remaining memories to become increasingly blurry. However, it was fortunate that he still had a memory of the clan he had founded. Those extremely ancient eyes slowly swept over the area below. Finally, a mutter was emitted. It has actually declined until such an extent. An ashamed expression immediately rose onto Yao Dan's face after hearing the low mutter of the illusory old man. Although the current era was different from the ancient era, he did not voice any excuses. This is Nihility devouring flame. The illusory old man did not speak to any of the members of the Yao clan. He slowly lifted his head and looked at the black flame, which covered the sky. A lost expression once again flashed across both of his eyes. He waved his sleeve, and a light appeared on the formation. Those black flames, which were adhered onto it while devouring energy, were being forcefully scattered by him. Without a complete memory and without a complete soul. Your muddy state is just like that of a puppet. The Yao Di has actually also turned into such a state. It's just as well. By capturing this remanent soul of yours, it would at least surpass that of a million complete souls. The Nihility Devouring Flame smiled faintly in the sky. His tone did not contain the least bit of fear and respect. His hand was extended and his finger, which was covered with black symbols, pointed below. Bang. The entire place immediately crumbled as the Nihility Devouring Flame pointed his finger forward. A huge black flame finger that seemed to cover half of the mountain range descended from the black flame, which spread over the sky. It ruthlessly pressed towards the formation, this entire space seemed to have completely cracked under the finger. The expressions of many turned to Shen upon seeing this terrifying might. The black finger descended from the sky. However, it was just about to land on the large formation when the linen-clothed old man finally lifted his hand. A medicinal cauldron that did not lose to the huge finger in size appeared above the formation. The medicinal cauldron was covered with various mysterious lines. At a glance, it appeared as though it was real. An ancient aura spread from it. 
Hum. The huge finger heavily pressed onto the large cauldron. Immediately, a humming sound resounded across the sky. Grug. Some of the weaker individuals immediately spat out a mouthful of fresh blood under the frightening humming sound. Some of their eardrums were even blasted apart. Blood continued to flow out from their ears, giving them an extremely miserable appearance. The large fingers scattered as the two collided. That medicinal cauldron had also become a lot more illusionary. The old man's figure had also paled slightly. Clearly, he had exhausted a great amount of energy. Just how many times a mere soul fragment can block me? The nihility devouring flame laughed faintly after his attack failed. His finger continued to press on the empty air. Immediately, the entire area shook. A couple of huge fingers descended from the sky and continuously struck violently onto the huge cauldron. Hum hum hum. A couple of crack lines were actually formed on the huge cauldron as this earth-shaking sound appeared. Everyone from the Yao clan, pour all of your du qi into the formation. Yao Dan's expression had changed drastically after seeing that the nihility devouring flame was actually unafraid of the founding ancestor soul fragment. He let out a stern cry. Immediately, the Du Qi within his body turned into a bright light pillar that shot into the formation. Countless light pillars also erupted from the other places. Immediately, the huge cauldron once again become real alike. Moreover, it had actually directly flew out of the formation and whistled towards the nihility devouring flame in the sky this time around. Han Yuzi's expression changed after he saw the huge cauldron rushing over. His body hurriedly hid behind the nihility devouring flame. You have the strength of the Yao clan, so do I. The tone of the nihility devouring flame was still calm. With a wave of his sleeve, the entire Yao realm immediately began to tremble. Everyone were shocked to see that there were dense black flame clusters rising from outside this formation. Finally, they entered the black flame in the sky. Immediately, countless of miserable cries resounded over this place. It's the descendant citizens of the Yao clan. Xiao Yan's expression changed drastically. Those densely packed light clusters encompassed countless of wildly struggling human figures. These people were all the descendant citizens of the Yao clan. The moment they were being sucked into the black flame clouds, Xiao Yan could see that their bodies were turned into blood, which were completely devoured. What ruthless method! He didn't even let those descendant citizens off. Xiao Yan clenched his fist tightly. There were at least millions of descendant citizens in this Yao realm. Yet, all of them were devoured by the nihility devouring flame. Hun clan, Yoru Hun clan will be an irreconcilable enemy of my Yao clan. The shocking change outside of the formation was also detected by Yao Dan. His eyes cracked slightly as his vicious and mad roar resounded over the entire place. The nihility devouring flame completely ignored Yao Dan's roar. He clenched his hand and a blood bowl was formed. Immediately, it swelled at a terrifying speed. The members of the Yao clan could clearly sense a familiar scent from within the blood ball. Explode! The Nihility Devouring Flame waved his hand after the blood ball swelled to 10,000 feet. Finally, it heavily collided with the huge cauldron flying over. A blood light covered the entire sky at that moment. Everyone seemed to have turned deaf at that moment. However, the blood-red color, which filled their eyes, allowed them to understand that this extermination-like clash was not an illusion. Bang! An indescribable frightening energy attack swept wildly from the sky. Many crack lines were formed from the explosion upon contact. Finally, it completely disappeared under the wild devourment of the black flame. The remaining annihilation force swept down and ruthlessly smashed onto the formation. Boom. The formation trembled violently as this force swept down. The liquid-like energy filled it as it scattered at a shocking speed. The formation is about to break. Looking at the increasingly pale large formation, the hearts of everyone from the Gu clan quickly became icy cold. They did not expect that this formation that was formed from the strength of their entire clan was actually unable to block this terrifying existence. The rough linen clothed illusory old man at the middle of the formation also softly sighed as he watched this scene. His mutter drifted into everyone's ears. This calamity cannot be avoided. His figure suddenly rushed out of the formation after his voice sounded. It turned into an illusory ray of light that cut through the black flame cloud with a speed exceeding the speed of light. Finally, it shot into the body of the nihility devouring flame. Bang! The collision between the two merely emitted a somewhat soft muffled sound. However, the body of the nihility devouring flame trembled intensely. Soon after, his tone finally revealed a little fury for the first time. You. Damn old ghost, disappear from this world. 
Black flame surged out from within his body in all directions. Immediately, a slight sound was emitted. It was as though a soul was shattered. The sound was soft, but the bodies of all the members of the Yao clan stiffened at this moment. They could sense that there was something which was quietly vanishing from their bloodline. Founding ancestor. Yao Dan's scarlet eyes dully looked at the sky. It was as though his belief had crumbled at this moment. Crack. The formation began to tremble even more intensely in front of the stunned expression of everyone from the Yao clan. Finally, it emitted a crack sound and exploded in front of many shocked eyes. The formation has been broken. End of chapter. Chapter 1575. Tunling. Devouring soul. Even this Yao clan's guardian formation had finally crumbled under the frightening energy assault that could destroy the world. It turned into countless of light spots that poured down from the sky. The luster emitted from them highlighted the many dull and stunned faces below. Despite having used all of their strength, they were still unable to change their fate. Many people felt terrified and hopeless under that demon god-like figure in the sky. Xiao Yan's expression was solemn as he watched this scene. The Du Qi within his body began to circulate quietly. A black light flashed beside him, and the northern king once again appeared. He also took a couple of steps back and stood beside Yao Lao. This danger was likely the most intense one he had ever come across. Even he did not have an absolute confidence to escape from this dragnet placed by the Hun clan. Yao Lao withdrew his eyes, which were looking at the sky. There was some moisture in them. Even though he did not have a deep feeling towards the Yao clan, the illusory figure from earlier was a godlike existence towards all the members of the Yao clan. Anyone with the bloodline of the Yao clan would sense an extremely important thing had suddenly disappeared after witnessing its complete destruction. You should leave first if anything goes wrong. The Sky Mansion Alliance cannot do without you. Moreover, you still have to rescue your father. Yao Lao spoke in a hoarse voice. Xiao Yan's expression changed slightly, but he did not speak. Those dark black eyes of his, however, revealed a determined expression. Teacher, be rest assured. Xiao Yan softly uttered those words after musing quietly. However, he did not know just what he meant by be rest assured. Yao Dan, who stood in the midair, slowly stood up in front of the countless pairs of eyes. The disappearance of that soul fragment had caused a huge hole to appear in his heart. However, he was after all the clan head. Hence, he swiftly suppressed his lost feeling. A low voice resounded beside the ears of all the members of the Yao clan. All clan members, now is the time when the fate of our Yao clan will be determined. The only thing we can do is to risk everything to preserve our bloodline. All elders, fight alongside me. Human figures rushed out from the mountain range in all directions, after Yao Dan's final stern cry sounded. There were not only elders of the Yao clan present. Even some of the younger generation of the Yao clan had charged forward with red and eyes. They understood that if they were unable to endure through this calamity, the Yao clan would completely disappear in history. The Yao clan was their route. Once they lose this route, they would end up roaming around without a home. All the glory and pride that they once had would be annihilated. Charge. Yao Dan's body trembled as he looked at the densely packed human figures charging up the sky. Monstrous Du Qi erupted from within their bodies without holding back. Finally, it turned into a 10,000 feet large Du Qi pillar that whistled out. Its momentum was shocking as it rushed towards the nihility devouring flame in the sky. Swoosh swoosh. Countless of Du Qi pillars of different strength rushed forward together behind the 10,000 feet large Du Qi pillars. They were accompanied by a determination as they shot towards the nihility devouring flame from all directions. Xiao Yan's eyes became grave as he watched the Du Qi, which had covered the sky. This kind of mighty retaliation was indeed worthy of the Yao clan. However, that person was far too terrifying. From his guess, the actual body of the Nihility Devouring Flame had likely reached the extremely frightening 8 or even 9 star Du Sheng class. Otherwise, it would be impossible for him to destroy the Yao clan's guardian formation. Moreover, even the Yao Di soul fragment had been scattered. The strength of the Hun clan is actually this frightening. No wonder it was able to quietly eliminate the Ling and Shi clan. Xiao Yan clenched his fist tightly. Moreover, the Nihility Devouring Flame was the only one which had appeared this time around. That mysterious clan head has yet to appear. Perhaps he was preventing the Gu clan from detecting anything. Even though this was the case, justice alone had forced the Yao clan into such a state. The strength that the Hun clan hid was really shocking. Hun Yuzi looked at the bright Du Qi pillars that filled his eyes from the sky. His expression was slightly altered. 
if he was to even touch such an attack, it was likely that he would immediately be seriously injured. After all, this attack had basically gathered the full strength of the entire Yao clan. The eyes of Nihility devouring flame beside Hun Yuzi, who was wrapped within a black flame, also fluctuated slightly because of those black hole-like eyes. Clearly, even he did not dare to easily slight this retaliation from the Yao clan. His palms, which was covered in strange symbols, were once again extended from within the black flame. After which, they formed many seals with lightning-like speed. The black flame that covered the sky churned intensely. Finally, it formed a hundred thousand feet large black hole swirl. An indescribable frightening devouring force appeared the moment the swirl was formed. It erupted in all directions as it did so. Bang bang. In the face of such a frightening devouring power, the land within a hundred thousand feet immediately crumpled. Many ten thousand feet large crack lines spread from the ground. They were just like ferocious wounds, which covered the spacious area. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. Many large dew key pillars continuously charged into the black hole-like swirl. A low and deep explosion resounded within the back hole. Such a frightening energy assault caused even the incomparably large swirl to form some intense fluctuation. The black flame over the body of the Nihility devouring flame continued to explode and form clusters of flames the moment the black hole fluctuated. His body staggered dozens of steps backwards. Han Yuzi's expression changed upon seeing this. It is indeed not easy to deal with this Yao clan. That Yao Di soul fragment might have been scattered, but it had ended up causing the Nihility Sir to be injured. Now, the clan has gathered all of its strength and attacked. Even someone as strong as him has been pushed back. Han Yuzi's eyes flickered rapidly. The body of the Nihility devouring flame also stabilized. The black flame lingering over his body had diminished significantly as compared to earlier. It seemed that he was not feeling good about the all-out retaliation of the Yao clan. The Yao clan is not bad. You are indeed much stronger compared to the Ling and Shi clan. However, this will not change your final fate. The Nihility devouring flame steadied himself and looked downwards. His ancient horse voice was slowly emitted at the same time. After the horse voice of the Nihility devouring flame slowly sounded, the black flame, which spread across the sky, slowly revealed many egg-like balls. Black flame surrounded the ball. Many faint black lights suddenly seeped out from the black flame cloud layer and rushed into that egg. Bang. Bang. Those densely packed light eggs suddenly exploded as the blood light entered. Immediately, many sharp screech resounded over the sky. Densely packed black fire figures poured down from the sky like a storm. After which, they crazily charged towards the mountain range below. Everyone within the mountain range had a drastic change in expression as they looked at the black flame figures hurrying over in close proximity. Immediately, they circulated their dew key. However, their dew key had only just risen when a black light flashed in front of them. Many people felt a pain in their chest. After lowering their heads, they saw that there was already a huge bloody hole on their chest. Fresh blood and internal organs shot out from it. What are these things? Xiao Yan's expression was a little gloomy. He randomly rabbed a black flame figure. These things possess the bodies of a human. However, those hollow scarlet eyes and the sharp wild beast-like claws allowed him to understand that there was quite a big difference between these things and humans. These things are able to devour the flesh and do key of people. Yao Lao exclaimed. There were also a couple of black flame figures that had been blasted into clusters of black blood under his feet. The entire mountain range descended into chaos in the face of these strange black flame creatures attack. Intense fights broke out everywhere. Miserable screeches continued to appear while scarlet blood dyed the land red. Yao Dan looked at the medicine mountain, which had swiftly descended into chaos from the midair. His expression was extremely gloomy. With a wave of his sleeve, frightening Du Qi began to erupt and directly killed the hundreds of black flame creatures near him. After which, he grabbed with his hand and caught hold of a black flame creature. His eyes suddenly shrunk after he observed it for a moment. Finally, he violently inhaled a breath of cool air. Tunling clan. How is it possible that such a clan still exist? Won't they completely eliminated during the ancient era? Tunling clan? Below him, Xiao Yan, who had heard Yao Dan's shocked roar, knitted his brow slightly. He mused for a moment while feeling some uncertainty. After which, he exchanged glances with Yao Lao and saw that the other party also had a lost expression. Clearly, the latter was also unaware of this so-called Tunling clan. Ha ha, you are indeed worthy of being the clan head of the Yao clan. Now, do you understand why my Hun clan has attacked you? 
Han Yuzi laughed in a faint voice. His eyes were extremely sinister as he looked at Yao Dan. No wonder, no wonder your Hun clan continues to exist since the ancient times, despite the gradual decline of many clans. Yao Dan was incomparably shocked as he looked at the nihility devouring flame in the sky. It appeared as though he had discovered some extremely frightening thing. Soon after, his body suddenly appeared below. With a wave of his hand, dozens of young members of the Yao clan were grabbed in his hand. Elders of the Yao clan. Self-destruct and destroy the realm. We can die, but we must ensure that the seeds of the Yao clan's bloodline survives. Many experts from the Yao clan in the sky trembled after hearing this heartbreaking stern cry. Grief and determination flashed across their faces. Between the destruction of the clan and sacrificing themselves to retain their bloodline, they did not hesitate to choose the latter. At this moment, Xiao Yan also inhaled a deep breath of air. He grabbed Yao Lao's arm. Both of his eyes were stern. It was time. End of chapter. Chapter 1576. Clan Extermination War. The many experts from the Yao clan in the sky suddenly emitted an extremely bright luster from within their bodies. The Du Qi within their bodies had become extremely wild and violent at this moment. They actually intends to self-destruct. Han Yuzi's expression changed slightly upon seeing this. If this many experts were to self-destruct, even this sealed realm might be torn open. However, the nihility devouring flame had already turned into countless of tunneling at this moment and was unable to stop them. Humph, it is not so easy to escape under the eyes of our Hun clan. Hun Yuzi's eyes became gloomy. He rapidly took out a scroll with a rising black flame from his storage ring. After which, he suddenly tore it apart. Black flame surged and directly formed a flame tunnel. Many figures rushed out from within it and appeared in the sky of this chaotic place. Ha ha, it is unexpected that you have actually ended up in such a state in this meeting of ours. Waves after waves of vast and mighty dark chilly auras spread over the sky after the many black figures came out from the tunnel. Such a might caused the hearts of everyone in this already dangerous state to sink. Had the Hun clan's experts finally showed themselves? The activity in the sky was also detected by Yao Dan. He suddenly lifted his head and gathered towards the leader of the many black figures. There were two elders standing at that spot. At this moment, the two of them were smilingly looking at him. Their smiles were filled with an iciness. Hun Jing, Hun Yan. Two of the, the four demon saints of the Hun clan has actually appeared together. Your Hun clan really thinks highly of my Yao clan. The elder leading the group laughed faintly upon hearing the low and vicious voice of Yao Dan. He said, Yao Dan, the alchemist skills of your Yao clan does still have some use for our Hun clan. If you agree to the Yao clan being an affiliated clan of my Hun clan, you might still be able to preserve some bloodline. Even if my Yao clan was to sacrifice our last drop of blood, we will definitely not live in a humiliating manner under your Hun clan. Yao Dan spoke in a dense voice. Being a member of the Yao clan, they possess their own pride. No one would agree with that whatever affiliation. In that case. We can only kill all of you. The elder was unsurprised at Yao Dan's words. He grinned slightly and waved his hand. He spoke in a soft voice, do not leave any survivors. Understood. The many experts from the Hun clan behind immediately revealed a ferocity in their eyes upon hearing this. They let out a savage laughter. Immediately, Majestic Du Qi erupted and rushed downwards from all directions. Explode. Seeing the experts from the Hun clan attacking, the light on the body of an elder of the Yao clan suddenly became extremely bright. Immediately, an extremely wild and violent energy wildly exploded in the sky. Some of the experts from the Hun clan, who had been struck, immediately spat out blood and pulled back rapidly. Bang. 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 After the first expert from the Yao clan self-destructed, it seemed to have suddenly lit the blood of the many members of the Yao clan. Immediately, light surged within the bodies of many. Finally, they shot through the sky like falling stars and self-destructed at the same spot simultaneously. Boom boom. A frightening extermination storm had flattened this entire mountain range in an instant. Tens of thousands of feet large deep streams crack lines began to spread like a spider web. In the face of such a frightening self-destruct attack, the realm, which had originally been completely sealed, had actually once again become distorted. There were some tiny cracks vaguely appearing. Continue. Yao Dan's eyes revealed a joyous expression after seeing that the space had finally been altered slightly. However, an endless sadness was hid under this joy. Who would have expected that this Yao clan, which had been completely peaceful a day ago, 
would actually end up with tens of millions of descendant citizens being killed and many clan members being dead or seriously injured. The danger of the clan being exterminated still covered over them. At this moment, the only thing that they could do was to for their clan members to self-destruct and enable to bloodline to continue. After hearing the stern cry, many experts from the Yao clan continued to unhesitatingly self-destruct. Humph. Hun Jing in the sky let out a cold snort. He waved his sleeve. Monstrous black aura surged out with lightning-like speed. It immediately turned into a large hand that threw those members of the Yao clan who wanted to self-destruct at a certain spot, far away. In this way, those Yao clan's experts, which had exploded in the other areas, had sacrificed themselves to no avail. Wan Ho. Yao Dan cried out explosively after seeing Hun Jing intervening. Elder Wan Ho, who was covered in blood a short distance away, had directly shot upwards after hearing Yao Dan's cry. A couple of extremely powerful elders from the Yao clan also followed. The Du Qi within their bodies had boiled completely at this moment. Their auras suddenly soared as their Du Qi boil. This would be their final battle. A battle to protect the members of their clan. I can stop them alone. Han Yuzi laughed coldly after seeing Elder Wanho and the rest use a secret technique to cause boil their Du Qi and cause their aura to soar. His body moved and appeared in front of Elder Wanho. He waved his hand and black flame surged. Just his strength alone was sufficient to drag Elder Wanho and the others into a battle with him. Seeing that miserable and tragic battle, Xiao Yan had also involuntarily tightened his fist. Was this the clan extermination war? The Xiao clan back then had likely also experienced the same scene. In order to ensure that their bloodline lived on, these people were willing to give up everything. They did not feel any regret even if they had to self-destruct. At this moment, the private grudge between all of them had already vanished. Those clan members who once had some conflict with each other were willing to self-destruct in order to protect the other. Dam Hun clan. The scarlet color within Yao Dan's eyes became even more intense after seeing that even Elder Wanho's group had been held back. His eyes swiftly swept around the place and finally paused in the direction of Xiao Yan a short distance away. His body immediately moved and appeared in front of the latter. With a wave of his hand, over a dozen members of the Yao clan appeared beside Xiao Yan. These people were a little familiar to Xiao Yan. This was because they were the group of young people who had obtained the best result on the medicinal ceremony. Xiao Yan, the experts from my Yao clan will self-destruct to tear open the realm and provide you with a chance to escape. I have never begged anyone in my life, but this time around, I beg that you help me preserve some of the Yao clan's bloodline. Yao Dan's eyes were blood red as they stared at Xiao Yan. His voice spoke in an anxious and hurried manner. A short distance from Xiao Yan was that old man Shen Nong, who had quite a good relationship with him. However, he did not choose the latter. This was because his instincts vaguely told him that only Xiao Yan had the ability to help him preserve the bloodline. Moreover, he did not have any other choice at this moment. In order to preserve a little of the clan's bloodline, he was willing to even self-destruct. This sudden unexpected occurrence caused Xiao Yan to be startled. He looked at the blood-red eyes of Yao Dan and felt his heart become stuffy. Regardless of what had happened, the latter was still a qualified clan head. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of air. He glanced at Yao Lao. The latter's eyes were a little moist. However, he did not say anything. Clan head, allow me to stay. I will fight with these damn bastards. Bloody tears crossed Yao Tian's face. He had personally saw his father being killed by a couple of experts from the Hun clan. At this moment, all he knew was that he should try his best to kill the members of the Hun clan and take revenge for his father. Slap. A slap was violently swung onto Yao Tian's face after his words sounded. Yao Dan looked at Yao Tian ferociously. He roared like a wild beast, what can you useless individuals do by staying behind? Countless members of the clan has self-destructed to provide you with the opportunity to escape? How can you face them? Yao Tian held his half-swollen face. He bit his lips. Blood continued to seep out from the corner of his mouth. Yao Ling by his side, who was just like a goddess in the hearts of the younger members of the Yao clan, was also crying. After having experienced the unexpected occurrence today, they finally understood that they were just like a flower protected in a greenhouse by the clan. All of you will obey everything Xiao Yan says. In order to ensure that the bloodline of the Yao clan continues, you will have to die if you are asked to. Xiao Yan sighed softly. This is really a heavy burden that it inexplicably appeared. He was unable to even take care of the Xiao clan. Where would he find so much energy? However, 
He needed to rely on the strength of the Yao clan in order to tear open the sealed realm. Hence, he had no choice but to agree. Clan head Yao Dan. I will do my best. Old fellow, I will also do my best to help. Old man Shen Nong, who had flew over, softly sighed. Prepare yourselves. I will block Hun Jing and Hun Yan. The other elders of the Yao clan will help you tear open the space. Yao Dan rubbed off the blood on his face. His eyes swept over Yao Yan and the others. His expression was also extremely calm. Finally, he smiled and stomped onto the ground. His body shot out and the Du Qi within it completely boiled. Finally, he appeared like a brilliant falling star as he shot towards Hun Jing and Hun Yan in the sky. This lunatic. Hun Jing Duo's faces became cold after seeing Yao Dan charging over with all his strength. Both of them attacked and the color of the sky changed. Bang. 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 After Hun Jing Duo were engaged into a miserable big battle with Yao Dan, the many Yao clan elders in the sky once again rushed forward. After which, they wildly exploded at the same spot. Boom boom boom. After the space trampled, that spot in the space began to become increasingly distorted. Traces of black flame symbols seeped out from within the space and finally exploded apart in the face of the wild and violent energy assault. Let's go! Pink flame quickly surged out from within Xiao Yan's body the moment the black flame symbols cracked. A fire barrier was formed. After which, it locked Yao Yan, Yao Ling and the dozen over figures inside it. The northern king behind protected Yao Lao. Their group's speed was unleashed until the limit as they hurried towards the space where the black flame symbol was torn with lightning-like speed. End of chapter. Chapter 1577. Borrowing Flames. Bang. Bang. A thunder-like explosion continuously resounded within this realm. Following the appearance of each explosion, there would be an expert from the Yao clan, exploding the Du Qi within his body and blast himself into pieces. In the face of such a wild and violent energy attack, even one soul would not remain. Xiao Yan's group unleashed their speed to their limit as they crazily rushed towards the area where the explosions were most centralized. The seal at that spot had already been blasted apart. It would no longer be difficult to tear open the space. Those experts from the various sects were also closely following behind Xiao Yan. They understood that it was impossible for them to successfully escape alive by relying on their own strength in such a chaotic period. However, the Hun clan's aim was to eliminate all the living creatures within the Yao clan. It was naturally impossible for them to simply allow Xiao Yan and the others to leave. While Xiao Yan's group traveled, the Taoling creatures covering the entire area as well as the experts from the Hun clan had immediately changed their target. They rushed and surrounded Xiao Yan's group from all directions. Xiao Yan's expression turned cold after seeing the figures, which were rushing over from all directions. He was just about to attack when old man Shen Nong from behind threw the medicinal herbs walking stick in his hand. Immediately, a green sea of flame spread rapidly. It emitted some swish sound as countless of towering trees appeared. Those huge trees with flame surrounding them were like vines that entwined around the figures, which were hurrying over. Xiao Yan sighed in relief as old man Shen Nong attacked. This caused the speed of Yao Tian's group to soar once again. Nihility sir, stop Xiao Yan. That brat also has a Tushi ancient god jade in his hands. Hun Yuzi, who was being entangled with Elder Wanho and a few others, hurriedly cried out after seeing Xiao Yan's group charging across the sky and was becoming increasingly closer to that particular space. Humph, do you think that I can make many copies of myself? The Nihility devouring flame snorted coldly after hearing Hun Yuzi's cry. His voice appeared to be filled with some displeasure. Hun Yuzi was quiet after hearing this. He smiled in embarrassment. The Nihility Devouring Flame might be the most powerful person present, but he not only needed to split his attention to stabilize the Spatial Seal, but he had also suffered an injury from the Soul Fragment of Yao Di during the big battle earlier. Additionally, he had currently turned into Countless of Tunling. Where would he find the strength to split his focus? Leave it to me. Hun Jing, I'll leave this old ghost Yao Dan to you. Trying to block the both of us with just your strength alone is nothing but fantasy. One of the four demon saints of the Hun clan from a battlefield in the sky mockingly glanced at Yao Dan, who was in a somewhat crazy state, in front of him. His body flashed and an afterimage appeared. After which, he escaped from the fight and directly rushed towards the spot where Xiao Yan's group was like an old eagle. Xiao Yan. He he, this name is not unfamiliar to me. There has been many rumors about you within the Hun clan. If it is not because the clan is preparing our plan, 
I would have already come out and meet you. You are the only person in many years who had been able to cause my Hun clan to suffer losses time and time again. Hun Yan's speed was extremely terrifying. Within a couple of breaths time, he had appeared in front of Xiao Yan's group and laughed coldly. Xiao Yan's expression sunk as he looked at another tiger appearing to block their path. The strength of this Hun Yan was extremely terrifying. Based on his senses, this fellow had likely reached the advanced seven-star Du Sheng class. He was much stronger than even Yao Dan. Life Spirit Flame. Old Man Shen Nong from behind also had a change in expression because of the appearance of Hun Yan. Soon after, he immediately attacked. The large sea of green flame gathered and turned into a huge fire beast with four limbs. After which, it charged violently at the latter. Life Spirit Flame. Ha ha, I am also quite interested in it. After capturing you this time around, this life spirit flame will belong to me. Hun Yan laughed faintly as he faced the sharp attack by that huge beast. His large hand was suddenly clenched. Monstrous Du Qi gathered and directly formed a huge palm, which slammed onto the large beast. A frightening force actually scattered the fire beast with a strike. The force was the wind did not diminish as it grabbed towards Xiao Yan's group. The combat strength of this life spirit flame is indeed insufficient. Old man Shen Nong involuntarily laughed bitterly after seeing that the attack by the life spirit flame was useless. He looked at the huge palm that fell from the sky and hurriedly increased his speed. Swoosh. The speed of Xiao Yan's group soared as the huge palm grabbed at them. They narrowly dodged it. However, some of those behind them were unlucky. In the face of the huge claw, even the one-star peak Du Sheng experts present amongst them had collapsed under the palm and explode into a cluster of blood fog. Xiao Yan did not have the time to be bothered about the many miserable cries emitted from behind him. His eyes stared intently at Hun Yan in front of him. The position of this person was coincidentally where the spatial seal had been shattered. In other words, if they wanted to tear open a spatial crack, they must defeat this old fellow. However, trying to defeat a top expert who had reached the advanced seven-star Du Sheng class posed quite a difficulty to the current Xiao Yan. Northern King. Xiao Yan's eyes flickered. He threw Yao Yan, whom he had held in his hand, towards Yao Lao. A thought immediately passed through his mind. That statue-like northern king, who had been following behind him, unhesitatingly turned into a ray of black light that charged forward. A wind containing a frightening strength directly covered Hun Yan. Huh? Is this a puppet? A surprise flashed across Hun Yan's eyes as he faced the unusually sharp attack from the northern king. Even he had seldom seen such a powerful puppet which did not show any signs of being unfamiliar with combat. Its physical body might be strong, but a puppet is ultimately a puppet. Although Hun Yan was surprised, he did not withdraw even a little. Monstrous Du Qi surged. He waved his hand, and the Du Qi changed into a thousand feet large Du Qi hand, which easily received the Northern King's sharp attack. Occasionally wind churned as he struck his palm forward. The vast and mighty Du Qi forced back the northern king. Its incomparably hard body revealed some half-inch deep scars. Given the strength of the northern king, it was a little too difficult for it to fight against an expert at the advanced seven-star Du Sheng class. Little Yi. Xiao Yan cried out while the northern king was stopping Hun Yan with all its strength. Little Yi quickly rose from Xiao Yan's body. Finally, it completely merged with Xiao Yan's soul. Purifying demonic lotus flame came erupted from Xiao Yan's body in all directions following the merger. His body had once again turned crystal clear. Even the bones and internal organs in his body had been covered by a pink crystal layer. Extermination fire body. Xiao Yan had unleashed his strongest attack of his the moment he began fighting. He understood that an ordinary attack was completely useless against such an expert. Extermination fire lotus. Xiao Yan suddenly clenched his hand after the fire body was formed. Six different colored heavenly flame formed a spiraling shape in his palm. After which, they mixed with each other. Within a short moment, it had formed a fire lotus with five different colored. An extermination-like aura spread the moment the fire lotus was formed. Go! Xiao Yan's arm shook the moment the fire lotus was formed. The extermination fire lotus was accompanied by a brilliant fire tail as it shot out with lightning speed. Finally, it exploded a short distance from Hun Yan. Bang! An earth-shaking energy explosion resounded over the place. A firestorm, which was filled with an exterminating force raged wildly. Any toweling that was within a thousand feet from the storm would be struck by the waves. Their bodies would immediately turned into black blood, which vaporized under the high temperature. 
humph, you do have some ability. However, if this is your trump card, you should just obediently hand over the Tushi Ancient God Jade in your hands. I can still allow you to die peacefully. The firestorm swept over the sky. However, that icy cold voice of Hun Yan continued to be slowly emitted from within the storm. Everyone could see a monstrous black vapor surging from the middle of the firestorm, it actually managed to block the raging firestorm. Hun Yan stepped on the empty air at the middle of the black vapor. He took a step forward at a time. His clothes fluttered in the absence of any wind, while he wore a dark and dense expression. Xiao Yan's expression changed slightly after seeing the unhurt Hun Yan. This was the first time that he had used the extermination fire lotus, while unleashing the extermination fire body. He did not expect that he was still unable to seriously damage Hun Yan in spite of this. The strength of an advanced seven-star Du Sheng was indeed extremely terrifying. The aura of that old man is a little unsteady. It looks like that attack of yours from earlier has still managed to hurt him. However, it is still insufficient to seriously injure him. Old man Shen Nong spoke with a grave expression. Xiao Yan, we must escape as soon as possible. Otherwise, if those experts from the Yao clan were to be completely exterminated, we will also have difficulty escaping this place. Yao Lao cried out in a deep voice. Xiao Yan nodded quietly. His eyes looked at Hun Yan, who was wearing a cold smile on his dense face. He suddenly exhaled and spoke in a deep voice, Elder Shen Nong, Yao Tian, lend me the heavenly flames within your body. Old man Shen Nong and Yao Tain were started upon hearing this. However, they did not have time to ask questions at this moment. The former was open-minded. He waved his hand, and the medicinal ingredient walking stick in his hand landed in Xiao Yan's hands. Yao Tian hesitated for a moment before quickly spitting out a cluster of dark brown flame. The flame vaguely agglomerated into a turtle shape. This was naturally the heavenly flame ranked 13th on the heavenly flame ranking, the turtle spiritual earth flame. Xiao Yan held the walking stick with one hand and grabbed the turtle spiritual earth flame with the other. His crystal clear body vaguely emitted a mysterious luster. Under this condition, both Little Yi and him had been completely merged together. From a certain point of view, he was currently in possession of the constitution of a heavenly flame spirit. As long as their owners do not resist, he would be able to use the heavenly flames that he had never refined before. However, their strength would naturally be a little weaker as compared to those that he had refined. At this moment, however, there was no time for him to think of this. Xiao Yan alone possessed six types of heavenly flames. If these two types of heavenly flames were to be added, the fire lotus that was formed would be an unprecedented fire lotus, formed by eight types of heavenly flames. Its might would definitely be extremely terrifying. End of chapter. Chapter 1578. Eight Colored Fire Lotus. The Life Spirit Flame and the Turtle Spiritual Earth Flame were quickly turned into two clusters of different colored flames in Xiao Yan's hands. There was a little resistance being vaguely emitted. After all, the two types of heavenly flames already had their respective owners. Even though their owners did not resist, their instincts would still pose some resistance. Moreover, this was the case despite Xiao Yan having transformed into possessing a heavenly flame constitution. If an ordinary person was to hold them, it was likely that they would have already exploded instead of acting in such a docile manner. Xiao Yan frowned slightly as he detected the slight resistance being emitted from the two clusters of essence flames. He flicked his finger. A wisp of pink flame was extended from his finger. After which, it wrapped the two clusters of essence heavenly flames. Immediately, the fire glow around the two clusters of heavenly flames showed a slight sign of stiffening. Even though these two heavenly flames did not possess any intelligence, they were still being frightened to the point of not daring to move in the face of the frightening purifying demonic lotus flame's purifying strength. Xiao Yan sighed in relief within his heart after seeing the two clusters of essence heavenly flames becoming quiet. He curled his hand, and six flames were once again formed. Xiao Yan flicked his finger while these six flames were slowly merging. The life spirit flame and turtle spiritual earth flame were shot into them. Bang bang. The flame, which was quietly being gathered, emitted a low and deep sound following the entry of these two heavenly flames. Waves after waves of frightening energy wildly whistled from within. It actually showed a vague sign of being about to explode. Xiao Yan's expression became a little grave as he sensed the change within the flame. Even though he currently possessed the heavenly flame spirit constitution of Little Yi, he was indeed a little too unfamiliar with these two heavenly flames. There was naturally some difficulty in merging them. However, this did not cause Xiao Yan to panic. 
his perfect heavenly state spiritual strength poured into the flame like floodwater. Immediately, the wild and violent nature within became like a large tank of cold water being added to boiling water. It immediately became quiet. Immediately, the wild violence scattered. The fire once again agglomerated under Xiao Yan's control. At the same time, the Du Qi within Xiao Yan's body continuously surged into the flame like floodwater. The addition of two types of heavenly flames had increased Xiao Yan's Du Qi exhaustion many times over. An exhaustion of that extent was something that even the current Xiao Yan had difficulty supporting. With an increasing amount of Du Qi being poured into the flame, layers after layers of seemingly real ripples began to be formed within it. A partial lotus shape was had vaguely appeared with the flame. A kind of fluctuation that frightened even Xiao Yan quietly spread from it. The might of an angry Buddha lotus flame being formed from eight types of heavenly flames could really be described as having the ability to destroy the world. Han Yan, who had been held back by the fearless northern king, had also detected the frightening fluctuation as it spread. His expression finally experienced a change as he looked at Xiao Yan in a grave manner. Those eyes of his were focused on the eight-colored flame on Xiao Yan's hands. His eyes involuntarily twitched. Even he could sense a danger from that force. This brat is indeed extremely strange. He is merely a five-star Du Sheng, yet he is able to unleash such a frightening attack. A cold glint flashed within Hun Yan's eyes. He suddenly slammed his palm onto the body of the Northern King. The sudden increase in his strength directly caused the chest of the Northern King to sink a little. If it was not because it was a puppet, this palm would have already taken his life. Even though this was the case, that ferocious palm wind still caused the Northern King to fly back by a thousand feet. After which, Hun Yan's body moved and directly pounced onto Xiao Yan. Stop him. Yao Lao's expression changed upon seeing this. He let out a cold cry and a Du Qi pillar shot out. However, such an attack was completely ignored by Hun Yan. It was scattered with the wave of his sleeve. Red poison palm. Old man Shen Nong had a grave expression after seeing that the obstruction was futile. His body rushed forward and his hands swiftly swelled. It also turned bright red in color. An unusual phenomenon was vaguely emitted from it as it smashed towards Hun Yan. Humph. Faced with old man Shen Nong, Hun Yan could only let out a cold snort. He flipped and lifted his hand. Those five fingers became charred black. He randomly slammed his hand forward and collided with the bright red palm wind of old man Shen Nong. Grug. The collision between the two emitted an unusual fragrance. Immediately, old man Shen Nong's expression paled. A mouthful of fresh blood was spat out. His body also miserably fly backwards. Clearly, he had suffered a big loss upon contact. A group of little shrimps actually dares to try and escape from the hands of my Hun clan. In your dreams. Hun Yan laughed coldly after he defeated old man Shen Nong with a strike from his palm. His body flashed and he appeared in front of Xiao Yan. His black fingers were just like the fingers of a death god as they grabbed towards Xiao Yan with lightning-like speed. Xiao Yan's eyes stared intently at Hun Yan's claw wind. The latter would land on his body in an instant. The sharp wind easily tore through the Du Qi defense on Xiao Yan's body. After which, it heavily landed on his body. Thud thud. The black fingers cut across, bringing with it some blood and sparks. The clothes in front of Xiao Yan's chest had directly turned into dust. A layer of tough dragon scale covered his body. However, five deep wounds had already appeared on the dragon scale at this moment. Fresh blood continued to flow out from his wound. If it was not because of the protection from the Dragon Phoenix ancient armor, it was likely that Xiao Yan's stomach would have been torn apart by this strike. Xiao Yan's face turned pale after suffering this heavy blow. Han Yan's claw wind had directly sent him flying backwards. However, an icy cold smile flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes as he flew backwards. His mouth widened slightly, explode. Han Yan's eyes suddenly shrunk after the soft voice was emitted. His sight stilled at the spot a couple of centimeters from him. There was a palm-sized fire lotus slowly rotating there. A brilliant eight-colored fire lotus was rotating at that spot. It appeared incomparably beautiful. Han Yan's expression changed drastically as he looked at the fire lotus, which was in close proximity. Before he could react, however, a bright luster had erupted from within the fire lotus. Countless of light pillar containing an extermination force erupted. They shot out from the fire lotus in a densely packed manner. Any person struck by the fire lotus would be turned into ashes almost immediately. From the looks of it, it was fortunate that Xiao Yan had borrowed Han Yan's strength and flew backwards. 
otherwise, it was likely that he would be shot by these extermination light pillars. Hun Yan was the first to be struck. His body was penetrated by many light pillars. However, it did not turn into dust at this moment. Monstrous Du Qi continued to surge from within his body as it tried its best to block the erosion of the extermination force. However, the fire lotus, which had been merged from eight types of heavenly flames, was not simple. An extermination like fire lotus was emitted from within the fire lotus after the light pillar shot out. The bright light in the sky appeared just like a bright sun. Intense piercing light had basically covered the entire Yao realm. Bang. An indescribable extermination like force swept in all directions across the sky. The mountain range below, which was already full of holes, had turned into a red ground. The terrifyingly high temperature had melted the entire mountain range. Xiao Yan grabbed Yao Lao and the others. Their bodies flew backwards as the purifying demonic lotus flame formed a huge fire barrier in front of them. Only then did the group avoided getting implicated by the attack. The extermination force lasted for quite a long time before it gradually faded. A black smoke fell from the middle. Finally, it violently landed below, smashing the ground and forming a 10,000 feet large pit. Xiao Yan's eyes looked into the distance. He could vaguely see Hun Yan within it. The latter was wrapped in a black vapor. However, his aura had become a lot weaker than before. Clearly, he had at the very least been seriously injured. Old man Shen Nong by the side inhaled a breath of cold air. His eyes were filled with shock as he watched this scene. It was difficult for him to imagine that Xiao Yan was actually able to force an advanced seven-star Dusheng until such an extent. Hurry and leave, the space at that spot had already been torn apart by the remaining force. Xiao Yan's face was pale. The piercing pain transmitted from his chest caused his body to tremble. He swung his hand and tossed the life spirit flame and turtle spiritual earth flame towards old man Shen Nong and Yao Tian as he cried out in an anxious voice. His current condition was also extremely terrible. An eight-colored fire lotus's exhaustion was far more terrifying as compared to what he had imagined. Even his current self could only use it once. However, he would end up being unusually weak. A weakened person had almost no chance of surviving in this situation, with danger lurking all around. Only after hearing Xiao Yan's words did everyone realize that the middle ripples from the extermination force had actually been torn apart, forming a spatial crack line that was a couple of dozen feet in size. They immediately braced their attention. Quick. Xiao Yan took out a jade bottle from his storage ring. He randomly poured the medicinal liquid inside onto the injuries on his chest and once again urged. Taking the lead, he extended the bone wings on his back and rushed into the spatial crack with lightning-like speed. Now was the best opportunity to escape. Stop them. Hun Yan's body swayed as he rose from the ground. His expression was ferocious as he roared. It was unexpected that even with his strength, he had actually been forced into such a miserable state by Xiao Yan. Bang bang. All the remaining experts from the Yao clan actually began to crazily self-destruct after seemingly having sensed that there was hope for Xiao Yan's group to escape. The waves from the explosions completely blocked those experts from the Hun clan who wanted to free themselves to stop Xiao Yan's group. Hun Jing, who was exchanging blows with Yao Dan, had a gloomy face upon seeing this scene. Unexpectedly, that brat was even able to force back Hun Yan. However, Yao Dan appeared to be aware of his intentions, just as he was planning to free himself to block the group. A crazy and ferocious smile surfaced on Yao Dan's face. After which, the Du Qi within his body suddenly became wild and violent. Xiao Yan, thank you very much. Yao Dan turned his head as the Du Qi within his body reached the limit of its untamed violence. He looked at Xiao Yan, who had grabbed Yao Tian, Yao Ling and the rest, as he entered the spatial crack. Those crazy scarlet eyes of Yao Dan revealed a smile that seemed to have been relieved of a great burden. After which, an extermination explosion that was not weaker than the eight-colored fire lotus explosion from earlier once again resounded within this blood-covered realm. End of chapter. Chapter 1579 escape. The frightening extermination storm swept apart within the Yao realm. Other than a small number of extremely powerful individuals, most of those who were struck by it were turned into ashes in an instant. The might from the self-destruction of a seven-star Dusheng could really annihilate the world. This old lunatic. Faced with this extermination storm that spread across the place, those experts from the Hall of Soul, who were originally planning on stopping Xiao Yan's group, had no choice but to quickly withdraw. 
Even someone as strong as Hun Jing and Hun Yan could only step back at stay low at this moment. The storm continued for a couple of minutes before it gradually weakened. After the extermination ripples disappeared, a hundred thousand feet large hole appeared on the ground below. The bottom of the hole was completely black. It was as though one could not see the bottom. Such a frightening destructive force caused the eyes of Hun Yan and the others to shrink slightly. Hun Jing's and Hun Yan's eyes immediately turned towards the direction which Xiao Yan's group had fled towards as the storm scattered. However, they merely saw a spatial crack that was slowly being repaired. Xiao Yan and the others had already vanished. Clearly, they had fled from the spatial crack. Damn it. Hun Jing's expression was gloomy upon seeing this scene. He let out a soft curse and suddenly grabbed towards the spot where Yao Dan had self-destructed. Immediately, a glow flew over. Finally, it turned into an ancient jade that appeared in his palm. From its appearance, it was something similar to that Tu Shen ancient god jade in Xiao Yan's hand. It seemed that this was the ancient jade that belonged to the Yao clan. Why have you let that brat flee? Hun Yuzi's figure also appeared beside Hun Jing as he spoke with a sunken expression. Elder Wanho and the rest had already been completely killed at this moment. The former did not have much ability to resist in front of a seven-star Du Sheng. Hun Jing held the ancient jade. He lifted his eyelid and looked at the extremely miserable Hun Yan who had headed over. At this moment, green and white intertwined on his face. He did not expect that he had actually been turned into such a miserable state by Xiao Yan, even after attacking personally. This brat does indeed have some ability. No wonder he is able to cause our Hun clan to suffer losses time and time again. Hun Yan's eyes were gloomy. However, he did not shrink from his responsibility. The destructive force that Xiao Yan had unleashed earlier was something that even an ordinary seven-star Du Sheng would not be able to produce. Moreover, from the information that they had obtained, Xiao Yan did not possess such a fighting ability. There was nothing to laugh about him suffering such a loss. We must not allow them to flee successfully. Although we are now no longer afraid of the Gu clan learning of this news, that brat does possess a Tushi ancient god jade in his hand. We will be able to save a lot of trouble in the future if we obtain it. Han Yuzi said. He had been played by Xiao Yan while he was refining pill earlier. Now, it was only natural that he did not wish to see the latter escape. We should resolve the matter of the Yao clan first. Our mission is to collect the bloodline strength of the Yao clan. As for Xiao Yan's group, Humph, how can it be so easy for them to escape? There are still Hun Sha and Hun Tu outside of the Yao clan's realm. Send the news to them. Ask them to dispatch one of them to kill Xiao Yan. Hun Yan spoke coldly, if it is not because the both of them needs to help Nihility Sir to stabilize the spatial seal, it would be impossible for that brat to tear open a spatial crack and flee. Aye. Hun Jing also nodded. He glanced at this realm, which was filled with a bloody stench. A cruel smile involuntarily flashed across his eyes as he spoke in a dense voice, with this bloodline strength from the Yao clan, it will be able to extend our Hun clan for another thousand years. At that time, once our plan succeeds, the clan head will become the first person in thousands of years to step into the Du Di class. At that time, the entire Du Qi continent would be under the rule of our Hun clan. Even the Gu clan can only grovel at our feet. Originally, this day would have come much earlier. In the end, it was hindered by the Xiao clan. Back then, our attack on the Xiao clan had caused our clan to suffer quite a serious loss. We have only recovered until our peak after recuperating for so many years. Otherwise, we would not need to be overly afraid of the Gu clan. Han Yuzi's tone was ferocious as he said. Everything is worth it to eliminate the Xiao clan. That clan is far too difficult to deal with. If they were to join hands with the Gu clan in the future, it might really be possible for them to threaten our Hun clan. We must eliminate them. Moreover that Xiao Xuan. Even our clan head at his peak is afraid of him. We must not allow such an enemy to remain. Hun Jing spoke in a deep voice. A frightened expression flashed across his eyes when he mentioned that name. It was as though he had recalled the earth-shaking miserable battle back then. Hun Yan took out a medicinal pill and swallowed it. His eyes were dark and cold as he looked at the lingering battles still present below. He involuntarily let out a dark and cold smile. Start collecting the bloodline strength. With these bloodline, the clan head might be able to advance another level. At that time, our Hun clan will launch an all-out attack. The space hundreds of kilometers away from the Shenong mountain range suddenly became distorted. A spatial crack line appeared. Immediately, many miserable-looking figures continued to rush out from it. 
Everyone only heaved a sigh of relief after landing on the mountain. They had finally escaped from the prison where they would have to die. Are you all right? Yao Lao wiped off his cold sweat. Being able to escape from the realm sealed by the Hun clan was considered a miracle. However, he quickly turned his eyes towards Xiao Yan. His expression changed slightly after seeing the injury on the latter's chest. I'm all right. Xiao Yan clenched his teeth. His hand rubbed over his wound. Wisps of pink flame entered his injuries. Immediately, white smoke was emitted. Traces of black vapor was being forced out from the wound by the purifying demonic lotus flame. Xiao Yan finally sighed in relief after resolving the eroding key present within his injury. He stuffed a medicinal pill into his mouth and recuperated for a moment. Only then did he turn his head and looked at the unusually quiet mountain range behind him. No one could have imagined that the realm within this mountain range had already turned into a complete bloodbath, with corpses lying all over it. Beside Xiao Yan, those dozen over younger generation of the Yao clan, whom Xiao Yan had rescued from the Yao realm, were kneeling towards the mountain range with expressions that were full of grief. A couple of ladies amongst them had involuntarily cried. Having been constantly living under the protection of the Yao clan all their lives, they had never felt so helpless and hopeless before. Compared to the others, Yao Tian and Yao Ling were a little calmer. Although there was still an endless despair within their eyes, they did not display it on their face. The both of them had matured greatly after experiencing this great change. Mr. Xiao Yan, there is nothing that we can do to repay this great favor of yours. If there is a change in the future, the Yao clan will definitely repay you with our lives. Yao Yan turned around, cupped his hands tightly towards Xiao Yan, and spoke in a deep voice. Beside him, Yao Ling had also gathered her pretty eyes onto Xiao Yan and bowed slightly. All of you should continue living. There is no need to repay anything. If it is not because those elders from the Yao clan had sacrificed their lives to fight, no one would be able to escape. Xiao Yan waved his hand. His heart also felt some pity towards the misfortune that had befell Yao Yan's group. From today onwards, Yao Yan was no longer the brightest star of the Yao clan. The latter would be just like him and needed to rely on his own strength. Whether Yao Yan could revive the clan would determine on his own ability. What should we do next? Yao Lao sighed and asked. The Hun clan is far too brutal. There are many chiefs and elders from the various sects on the central plains who had been killed by them this time around. If news of this spread, the Hun clan will definitely become the common enemy of everyone. However, these factions are just like ants from the perspective of the Hun clan, and they will have difficulty catching its attention. Xiao Yan revealed an expression of deep thought. A moment later, he said, we must head to the Gu clan. Currently, the only one able to fight with the Hun clan is the Gu clan. They will definitely not stand idly and watch after such a thing had happened. At that time, only by combining with the Yan and Lei clan will it be possible to restrain the Hun clan. Otherwise, the other ancient clans will also have difficulty escaping this great calamity. From the way the Hun clan was able to easily eliminate the Yao clan, even the Yan and Lei clan would likely end up with the same fate. Of course, the Sky Mansion Alliance would likely end up with an even more miserable fate. In terms of foundation, the Alliance still had some gap when compared with these ancient clans. Xiao Yan had never believed that the Hun clan would let the Sky Mansion Alliance off. Hence, he must think of a solution as soon as possible. Otherwise, when the Hun clan attacks the Alliance, the result would not be any better than the scene today. Teacher, you should first return to the Alliance and make arrangement. Raise the defense level to its highest. Those that need to be shifted should proceed secretly. Tell everyone to be cautious. Yao Lao hesitated upon hearing this. Finally, he nodded. Given his strength, he would not be able to provide Xiao Yan with much of a help by following the latter. Instead, he would only be a burden. The Shenong mountain range is not longer safe. I shall accompany you to the Sky Mansion Alliance. I heard that that old demon from the Pill Tower is also there. It has been many years since I have seen him. I really wish to meet him. Old man Shen Nong hesitated for a moment before speaking. The Hun clan was also targeting him. If he continued to remain alone, he would really be unlucky if the Hun clan was to discover his trail. Xiao Yan was also startled upon hearing these words. He immediately rejoiced. This old man Shen Nong was not only a six-star Du Sheng, but his alchemist skills was something that few could match. If he could stay at the Alliance, the strength of the Alliance would soar greatly. Xiao Yan was naturally happy to see such a situation. Yao Yan, both you and your sister should head with me to the Gu clan. 
The both of you will need to explain the matter of the Yao clan in order for those elders from the Gu clan to believe. The remaining people should head to the Sky Mansion Alliance first. What do you say? Xiao Yan looked towards Yao Tian and Yao Ling and asked. We will listen to Mr. Xiao Yan's orders. Yao Tian and Yao Ling exchanged glances before nodding their heads. Although Xiao Yan was not very old, they clearly understood in their hearts that there was indeed an extremely great gap between them and Xiao Yan. In that case, let's get going. Xiao Yan sighed softly. His internal injuries had been significantly recovered during this short period of time. His voice had just sounded when his expression suddenly changed. He turned his head abruptly and looked at a mountain a short distance away. There was a figure carrying a huge dark red ghost blade on his shoulder leaning on a huge tree. Those savage red eyes appeared just like a bloody sea. Ugh, have I been discovered? A ferocious smile rose on that figure's face after he detected Xiao Yan's gaze. An evil aura suddenly soared. End of chapter. Chapter 1580. Devour. Someone from the Hun clan. Xiao Yan's eyes were focused on the human figure on the distant mountain. Yao Lao and the other looked over. Their expressions immediately changed drastically. It was unexpected that there were actually experts from the Hun clan present on this Shenong mountain range. It's Hun Sha, one of the four demon saint. His strength is comparable to Hun Jing and Hun Yan. Old man Shen Nong was quite familiar with these people from the Hun clan. Hence, his expression changed slightly after seeing the monstrous evil aura. He sighed softly, this Hun clan has really dispatched all of its experts to destroy the Yao clan. Unexpectedly, there is really someone who can tear open the spatial seal placed by Nihility sir. The figure in the distance stepped on the empty air. In a flash, he appeared in the sky above them. He looked down at Xiao Yan's group and focused his eyes onto Xiao Yan. His mouth was involuntarily parted into a smile. Those dense white teeth contained a stern evil aura, giving them the appearance of belonging to a savage beast. You are Xiao Yan, right? I have heard that the old man Hun Yan has suffered a loss in your hands. The members of the Xiao clan are indeed extraordinary. Fortunately, my Hun clan had decisively killed the Xiao clan. Otherwise, this world would currently be faced with a completely different situation. Xiao Yan's eyes stared intently at this black-clothed human figure. Although the latter had a dense smile on his face, his pair of eyes were filled with an indifferent evil aura. Clearly, this person was not some soft-hearted person. What should we do? Yao Lao asked in a soft voice. It is unexpected that they had encountered a wolf after escaping from a tiger's den. This fellow was obviously not an ordinary person. No one present was a match for this person if they fought. Xiao Yan's eight-colored fire lotus might be terrifying, but it could not be used continuously. Moreover, from the situation when he had used it earlier, even an eight-colored fire lotus would have difficulty kill an expert of this level. Should he manage to escape, their group would really have a difficulty fighting him. Teacher, you should leave first. I will block him for a while. Xiao Yan exhaled slowly and said. What? Yao Lao's expression changed immediately. How could Xiao Yan alone be a match for this person? Relax, I have my own plans. All of you should hurry up and leave. After that, hide your auras. I will hurry to the Gu clan after holding him back for a while. Xiao Yan softly said. He immediately clenched his hand. A jade bottle appeared in it. There was a dragon eye sized medicinal pill floating within it. A shocking energy gathered like a crystal within the bottle while an unusual fragrance spread. Tyranine Mysterious Pill. Yao Lao only sighed in relief after seeing that medicinal pill. However, his eyes still contained some worry. The energy of a tier 9 mysterious pill was extremely terrifying. It would require many aiding medicinal pills to help in the refinement after one consumed it. Hence, even with Xiao Yan's strength, he did not dare to easily swallow it. Moreover, he would definitely have to fight with Hun Sha after swallowing the pill. This would mean he would not have the attention to refine the medicinal strength. In that case, it might cause him body to suffer a relatively severe damage. Although he was worried in his heart, Yao Lao also understood the present situation. They would still have a chance to survive if they escaped. If they remained behind, however, it would not only end up distracting Xiao Yan, but they might really be eliminated by this fellow. You should be careful. Shatter this jade if you manage to escape. I will be able to feel it. Yao Lao finally stiffed a jade piece into Xiao Yan's heart, while his heart struggled for a moment. After which, he let out a low cry and took the lead to rush forward. Old man Shen Nong behind hesitated for a moment before grabbing the youths from the Yao clan and quickly followed. 
Where do you think you are going? Hun Sha frowned after seeing that Yao Lao and the others were actually fleeing. The ghost blade formed by blood in his hand was swung downwards. A 10,000 feet large blood blade glow shot through the sky and sharply hacked towards Yao Lao's group. Clang. The blade glow flew past with lightning-like speed. However, a black figure appeared in front of it while it was still a thousand feet from Yao Lao's group. Both arms of the figure were crossed and it forcefully received that sharp blade glow. Bang. Although they had received the blade glow, that frightening force had directly pushed that figure into the mountain range below. An entire mountain shook and collapsed. Huge rocks rolled and a loud rumbling sound appeared. The speed of Yao Lao's group once again soared after Hun Sha's attack was blocked. Within a couple of flashes, they had rushed out of the mountain range and swiftly disappeared into the horizon. Useless people. It is fine that they have escaped. Just capturing you will do. Hun Sha's brow was lifted after he saw Yao Lao's group successfully fleeing. However, he could not be bothered to give chase. He turned his head and his eyes suddenly paused on the tier 9 mysterious pill in Xiao Yan's hand. A greedy flashed within those eyes. Xiao Yan, hand over that medicinal pill and I will give you an easy death. What do you say? Otherwise, I will extract your soul and burn it for hundreds of years. I don't think you wish to suffer a fate worse than death. Xiao Yan merely smiled coldly in the face of Hun Sha's words. He squeezed his hand and the jade bottle burst apart. The medicinal pill within it immediately turned into a ray of light. Before it could flee, however, Xiao Yan caught it with great reflex and directly stuffed it into his mouth. Bang. After the medicinal pill entered his body, the clothes over Xiao Yan's body had directly been turned into ashes. Densely packed dragon scales appeared over his skin. Waves after waves of indescribable energy continuously surged out from within his body like floodwater. At the end, the energy had actually agglomerated into an armor over Xiao Yan's body. What a powerful energy. Under the vast and mighty energy, Xiao Yan's body began to tremble continuously. The inside of his body felt as though he had just swallowed many huge dragons. It was a complete mess. Wild erosion spread over every part of his body. Under the uncontrolled violence of this energy, even Xiao Yan's perfect heavenly state soul had been humbled. Roar. An endless energy galloped through the interior of Xiao Yan's body. Finally, it turned into an earth-shaking roar that resounded over the entire area. The surrounding mountains had once again collapsed in the face of the furious roar. Yao Yan and Yao Ling also hurriedly stepped back. He, interesting. Swallowing a tier 9 mysterious pill requires many other things to aid in its refinement. This action of yours is no different from committing suicide. Hun Sha lifted his brow after detecting the energy erupted from within Xiao Yan's body. He immediately shook his head and laughed coldly, I have given you a path to take, but you refuse to. Do not blame me for being ruthless. Hun Sha suddenly stepped forward as his word sounded. His body appeared in front of Xiao Yan almost immediately. The blood-colored large blade in his hand emitted a swoosh sound as it tore through the air and slashed onto Xiao Yan's neck was an extremely shocking speed. The blood light was rapidly magnified in Xiao Yan's eyes. He clenched his hand and a mighty energy agglomerated into a huge heavy ruler. Since he was unable to dodge, he would directly clash head-on with Hun Sha. Clang. An unusually sharp wind spread as the blade and ruler collided. The mountain where the two of them stood on had been split into two. It collapsed with a bang, while the entire mountain range trembled. Xiao Yan's figure was directly forced back by thousands of feet. A sweetness rose on his throat. However, both of his eyes were unusually excited. The earlier clash had exhausted quite a lot of energy, greatly relieving him of the feeling of being about to explode within his body. Again. Xiao Yan did not fear Hun Sha as the medicinal strength continued to surge out from within his body. He moved and took the lead to appear in front of Hun Sha. The heavy ruler in his hand did not contain any skill. It directly used the most brutal method to hack downwards violently time and time again. The vast and mighty energy had basically agglomerated into a 10,000 feet large ruler glow. The mountains were split wherever it passed. Clang clang clang. Hun Sha's expression was a little ugly as he faced Xiao Yan, whose Du Qi had erupted violently after swallowing the tier 9 mysterious pill. The blood blade in his hands danced, forming many afterimages and receiving those heavy mountain-like ruler strikes. However, his body would descend by thousands of feet each time the heavy ruler fell. This caused his eyes to become a little gloomy. It was unexpected that Xiao Yan was actually so lively even after experiencing the big battle within the Yao realm. 
I will just watch how long you can be arrogant for. A tier 9 mysterious pill might be powerful, but you do not have the time to refine it. The energy will completely damage your body. At that time, I will see how you will continue fighting. Although Hun Sha had been pressed into a disadvantage by Xiao Yan's seemingly mad attacks, Hun Sha was unusually calm. He let out a cold laughter while putting up a defense. Xiao Yan completely ignored his cold laughter. The excitement in his eyes grew increasingly intense as the heavy ruler in his hand fell in a crazy fashion. His strikes became increasingly heavy. The entire Shenong mountain range had been destroyed into a complete mess at this moment. Clang. Another mountain-like powerful strike fell, and Hun Sha's arm had become a little numb. His body fell backwards by 10,000 feet. Many mountains were shattered to dust along the way. His expression also became uglier. Ha ha, how enjoyable. Let's fight again another day. The math excitement in Xiao Yan's eyes suddenly vanished as he sent Hun Sha flying with a ruler strike. He laughed towards the sky. The pair of bone wings on his back was flapped as he immediately turned around and flew towards another direction. At that direction black figure had grabbed Yao Tian and Yao Ling as it flew to the horizon. It was the Northern King, which Xiao Yan had ordered to secretly take the duo away, while Xiao Yan was holding Hun Sha back. Bang! Hun Sha stomped his foot onto a mountain. Immediately, it was covered in cracks. Finally, the mountain was blasted apart and his body was stabilized. His face was dark and cold as he watched Xiao Yan flee into the distance. The low roar erupted, Xiao Yan, regardless of where you flee to, I will capture you, cut off your flesh and extract your soul. Hun Sha moved as those vicious words sounded. He turned into a bloody light as he rushed forward with great speed. From the looks of it, he was clearly not intending to allow Xiao Yan to escape. End of chapter. Chapter 1581. Flee. A deep thunder-like sound suddenly appeared in the vast sky. Immediately, a bright light that caused one to be stunned flashed across the sky. In a flash, it appeared in the horizon. The rumbling explosion caused many experts along the way to raise their heads in shock. Soon after the bright light flashed across the sky, a monstrous evil aura suddenly spread across the sky from behind. A black light flew past. The monstrous evil aura caused many experts to be frightened. Even some of the sects did not dare to pay attention to it. Just a random wave of a hand by that kind of expert would likely eliminate the entire faction. The chasing conducted by such an expert was not something that they could observe. This fellow really doesn't give up. The bright light flashed through the sky. The figure inside paused momentarily and frowned upon sensing the murderous aura from behind. That figure was naturally Xiao Yan who had fled after exchanging blows with Hun Sha. However, he did not expect that the latter would actually continue to follow him. From the looks of it, the latter did not show any signs of giving up. Mr. Xiao Yan, there is still half a day's journey from this place to the Gu Realm. That fellow is catching up. Ido Tian, who was in Xiao Yan's hand, did his best to block the wind pressure from their great speed and cried out loud. Xiao Yan nodded slightly and frowned. The energy of the Tier 9 mysterious pill could only be described as terrifying. Currently, the interior of his body had already been damaged by the wild and violent energy until it was extremely miserable. Even though Little Yi had already done its best to refine the energy, it was still a little insignificant. If it was not because of his strong body, his body might have already exploded from the energy. Despite this, it was clearly not a long-term solution. How would he escape from Hun Sha if the energy from the Tier 9 mysterious pill was to injure his body? The both of you should prepare to leave first. The condition inside my body is quite bad. If I'm afraid the Hun Sha will catch up soon if I bring the two of you along with me. One of you should be able to keep your life if you leave now. That fellow's target is me. It is likely that he won't chase you. Xiao Yan mused for a moment and spoke in a deep voice. Even with the support of the energy from the Tier 9 mysterious pill, his speed would be slower than Hun Sha if he brought two people with him. I'll follow you. Yao Tian and Yao Ling spoke almost at the same time after Xiao Yan's words sounded. They were aware that it was most dangerous to follow beside Xiao Yan. However, they wished to leave the safest position to the other party. What a touching scene. However, there is no time for argument now. Xiao Yan frowned and said. Yao Tian and Yao Ling were stunned as he heard this. The latter immediately threw a palm onto Yao Tian's chest. A gentle force pushed the latter away from Xiao Yan. However, Xiao Yan did not stop her. With a wave of his sleeve, he sent Yao Tian flying through the sky. A voice was transmitted into the latter's ears, hurry up and leave. 
Yao Tian steadied his body in a miserable manner. His eyes were completely red as he looked at Xiao Yan Duo flying into the distance. Without uttering any unnecessary words, he turned around and hurried in another direction. You are really decisive. Xiao Yan hugged Iso Ling's delicate waist. Pink flame wrapped around the both of them. Their speed suddenly soared. Yao Ling's face was a little flushed as her delicate waist was being tightly hugged by Xiao Yan. That cold frost on her face had also diminished slightly. She turned her head and looked at the face beside her. This was a face that was far from the handsome look of her brother Iso Tian. However, it caused her eyes to flicker. Given her cold and haughty nature, she had seldom felt any admiration for a person of the opposite gender during these years. This person was the only exception. The time which both parties had been in contact was quite short. Xiao Yan was serious and casual while he was a beauty loves a hero. Regardless of how cold the beauty was, it was impossible for her to be an exception to this rule. Xiao Yan did not have the time to be bothered with the thoughts of the beauty in his embrace. At this moment, most of his thoughts were focused on suppressing and refining the out-of-controlled vast and mighty energy in his body. At the same time, he must maintain his speed. These various matters was quite a big test to him. Separate huh? From far behind Xiao Yan, Han Sha, who had a gloomy expression, quickly swept his eyes over Xiao Yan's and Yao Tian's back. Finally, he let out a cold snort and continued chasing after Xiao Yan. These members of the Yao clan who had escaped were completely useless to them. However, it was different when it came to Xiao Yan. The latter had the Tushi ancient god Jade in his hand. This was something the Hun clan must obtain. I wish to see just how long you can last for. One party fled while the other chased in the sky. This continued for a couple of hours. During this period of time, the two parties had basically crossed half of the central plains. Although they had caught the attention of many experts along the way, no one dared to intervene in the face of Hun Sha's shocking aura. All they did was simply watch the both parties flying through the sky. Following the flow of time, Xiao Yan's condition had clearly become increasingly worse. The crystal-like seemingly endless energy gathered within the meridians of his body. It firmly sealed off the many meridians. Even though Little Yi was doing its best to refine the energy, there would be an endless amount of energy crystals continuously appearing. The energy crystals slowly swelled, and a vague pain was felt in Xiao Yan's unusually tough meridians. The energy of a tier 9 mysterious pill was actually this frightening. Mr. Xiao Yan. Yao Ling looked at Xiao Yan's miserable expression. Although the strength of her Du Qi was not very strong, her spiritual strength was quite powerful. Hence, she had also sensed that Xiao Yan's spiritual strength had become exhausted as it continued to weaken. If something becomes amiss later on, I will send you away. Xiao Yan forcefully braced his attention. Currently, his body was not only filled with external injuries, but the inside of his body was also a complete mess. It was already quite difficult for him to last until now. Yao Ling gently bit her lips. She suddenly extended her snow white wrist and handed it to Xiao Yan. She softly said, my constitution is a little unique. Hence, my blood possessed the effect of nourishing spiritual strength. Mr. Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan was immediately startled upon hearing this. His eyes glanced at the exquisite and attractive face of Yao Ling. The latter looked at him seriously. That appearance did not seem like she was lying. There is actually such a strange constitution. No wonder it is said that this lady might have a chance to step into the D-state spiritual strength. It is likely because of this constitution. A thought passed through Xiao Yan's mind. He did not utter anything unnecessary as he bit on Yao Ling's wrist. His teeth pierced into the blood vessel. A great amount of bright red blood was sucked into Xiao Yan's mouth. Xiao Yan violently shuddered after the blood, which contained a little unusual sweetness, entered his mouth. The blood had turned into a mysterious energy immediately upon entering his mouth. It spread swiftly and surged towards the center of his brow. His originally exhausted spiritual strength was actually being wrapped by a faint blood light. A feeling that was fuller than when he was at his peak suddenly appeared. What mysterious blood! A sleek redness swiftly rose on Xiao Yan's face. Both of his eyes brightened. He could clearly sense that his soul was greedily devouring the blood. This was the first time he had ever felt such a sensation. My spiritual strength might advance further if I sucked her blood dry. A thought from an unknown source flashed across Xiao Yan's heart. It was quickly eliminated by Xiao Yan in the next instant. He looked at Yao Ling who was gently biting her red lips while wearing a pale expression, and involuntarily slapped himself violently within his heart for the beast-like thought. 
he slowly relaxed his mouth and wiped off the blood from the corner of his mouth. After which he muttered in an apologetic manner, thank you very much. Yao Ling shook her head slightly. Her pretty eyes looked behind her as she pressed her eyebrows together and said, that fellow has become faster. Xiao Yan's expression changed slightly upon hearing this. He discovered that the sound of rushing wind far behind had become increasingly deep. Clearly, Han Sha had begun to feel impatient and had used some unknown method to increase his speed. Hold tight. This place is already quite close to the Gu clan. We will be safe once we arrive. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of air. His eyes had become stern. The green red wings on his back were flapped, and his body turned into a lightning that swiftly hurried into the horizon. Brat, I will not give you the opportunity to seek refuge in the Gu clan. Hun Sha's face appeared extremely gloomy as he gave chase from behind. He did not expect Xiao Yan's speed to suddenly increase after having slowed for a moment. Immediately, the seal formed by his hands changed. Black Duke Ki erupted in a monstrous fashion and turned into a black bat that was thousands of feet in size. A mouthful of essence blood was spat out. It adhered onto the bat. The bat flapped its wings. One could hear a swoosh sound as it completely vanished. This is bad. Xiao Yan's expression changed drastically the moment Hun Sha's figure disappeared. He grabbed Yao Ling in his embrance and suddenly lowered his body. Chi. Xiao Yan's body had just ascended when a blood glow rushed out from the space above his head. It brushed past his head as it flew past. Xiao Yan, where will you flee to? The space fluctuated and a dense-looking Hun Sha broke out from it. His eyes were ferocious as he stared at Xiao Yan. The blood blade in his hand was swung, and a huge blood glow, which was tens of thousands of feet in size, cut through the air. It had the might of shattering the land as it slashed onto Xiao Yan Duo. The blood glow was rapidly magnified in Xiao Yan's eyes. His face was extremely gloomy. His shoulder shook and Little Yi appeared in a flash. A golden lightning dragon was quickly wiggling on Little Yi's arm. However, Xiao Yan was just about to use the strength of the nine mysterious golden lightning as a final retaliation when an elderly figure suddenly appeared in the space in front of him. A cry resounded from that figure. Trying to murder in the territory of my Gu clan. Han Sha, you are really a little too arrogant. End of chapter. Chapter 1582. Push back. The figure which appeared in front of Xiao Yan was wearing green long robes. His hair was completely white. A smile hung on his fair-looking face, giving him a somewhat immortal-like feeling. Han Sha, you should restrain yourself now that you have reached the territory of the Gu clan after such a long chase. The green-robed old man smilingly looked at Hun Sha, who murderous aura filled the air, and laughed. From the way he spoke, it seemed that he had already sensed Xiao Yan being chased by Hun Sha since a long time ago. Gu Dao, the three immortals of the Gu clan. Hun Sha's expression was gloomy as he looked at the green-robed old man. A solemn expression surged onto his face. It was unexpected that he had ended up meeting such a troublesome person the moment he had arrived. My target is him. It has nothing to do with the Gu clan. The green-robed old man, who was called Gu Dao, smilingly shook his head upon hearing this. He said, ha ha, this won't do. Xiao Yan is considered half a member of the Gu clan. It is impossible for me to hand him over to you. Hun Sha, you should hurry up and leave. Fighting in this place is disadvantageous to you. Xiao Yan was startled after seeing Gu Dao recognizing him upon sight. Since when did he become half a member of the Gu clan? Little fellow, you have taken the opportunity to take Shunner's virginity back in the demonic flame realm. Don't tell me that you intend to deny it? Gu Dao turned his head and spoke faintly, appearing as though he was aware of Xiao Yan's doubt. Xiao Yan widened his mouth. His face revealed a rare embarrassment. However, he quickly recovered and spoke in a deep voice, Elder, the reason I have come to the Gu clan this time around is to inform your clan that the Yao clan had already been destroyed by the Hun clan. The culprit behind the extermination of the Ling and Shi clans is also them. The smile on Gu Dao's face diminished slowly. His eyes turned towards Hun Sha, and he softly said, you are indeed the ones behind it. This news was quite shocking to him. However, he did not feel any sense of disbelief. After all, they had already made some guesses after those incidents had occurred. However, they did not have the evidence and were unable to prove their guess. The thing that caused him to be furious was that these people had actually struck again. You are really full of nonsense. Relax, your Gu clan will sooner or later meet the same fate as them. Hun Sha laughed coldly, but did not deny the claim. I'm afraid that you do not have such a big appetite. 
Bu Dao frowned slightly. There was a chill surging within his voice. One's appetite is not simply shown by using words. Hun Shaz laughed loudly. The bat wings behind him were flapped. The space fluctuated and he directly appeared in front of Gu Dao. That blade blade was swung with a swoosh swoosh sound. A sharp blood-colored blade light engulfed Gu Dao. Hun Sha. We have not exchanged blows for hundreds of years, but it seems that you have not made much improvement. If it is not because your four demon saints of the Hun clan rely on your numbers, my Gu clan's three immortals will not fear you even a little. Gu Dao merely laughed faintly in the face of the unusually sharp attack from Hun Sha. He clenched his hand and a hundred feet large green rod appeared in his hand. The rod danced and the energy of this entire place was stirred. It turned into an endless number of ferocious rod shadows that collided with Hun Sha's blade glow. Clang clang. The rod and blade clashed. An extremely shockingly sharp storm swept out from this seemingly ordinary clash. The space within radius tens of thousands of feet in size had been shaken until it shook intensely. Wild wind swept over the plains. Sand flew and rock moved. Xiao Yan held Yao Ling and swiftly pulled back. He landed on a mountain before swiftly sitting down. The energy of the tier 9 medicinal pill had already filled his body to the brim. If he did not think of a way to refine it, his body would sooner or later end up exploding. A tier 9 mysterious pill is indeed not something that one can randomly swallow. Xiao Yan laughed bitterly. This was the first time that he had been turned into such a miserable state by a medicinal pill. Moreover, it was also the first time that he had a headache over having too much energy within his body. The seal formed by Xiao Yan's hands changed as he sat down. Little Yi immediately came out from within his body. It rapidly turned into a fire cauldron and wrapped his entire body within it. The purifying demonic lotus flame was finally completely unleashed. It surged into Xiao Yan's body from all directions and swiftly refined the seemingly real-like energy within his body, which had already turned into crystals. Without being attacked by an enemy, Xiao Yan was finally able to completely focus his mind on using all his strength to refine the energy crystals within his body. The effect of this all-out force had clearly brought about quite a great effect. The frightening strength of the purifying demonic lotus flame was once again unleashed. The crystals, which filled his veins, had swiftly turned into waves of torrent-like pure energy under this continuous refinement. It whistled and galloped within Xiao Yan's body. His meridians, which had been fully blocked, had once again become loose. Swish swish. The endless vast and mighty energy was slowly circulated within Xiao Yan's meridians. Finally, it turned into powerful Du Qi, which merged into Xiao Yan's limbs. Immediately, a feeling of being completely filled once again rose within his heart. Moreover, the Du Qi within his body had vaguely showed signs of slowly soaring. The effect of the Tier 9 mysterious pill was slowly being unleashed at this moment. While Xiao Yan was making full use of his time to refine the shocking medicinal pill energy within his body, the battle in the sky was also becoming increasingly intense. Gu Dao and Hun Sha were the top experts from their respective clans. Moreover, they were at the Seven Star Du Sheng class. The destructive force when they fought was naturally earth-shaking. However, it was unusually difficult for a victor to be decided. Damn it, why have I end up meeting this old ghost? This is the territory of the Gu clan. Any large-scale battle will definitely attract the Gu clan's attention. At that time, if the other two Gu clan's three immortals were to come, he would likely have difficulty even retreating in one piece. A blood light that was tens of thousands of feet in size rose from the large ghost blade. However, it collapsed after being gently touched by Gu King's green rod. Hun Sha's brow was tightly knitted. I must end this battle as soon as possible. A fierce glow flashed across Hun Sha's eyes. The seal formed by his hand suddenly changed. That blood blade in his hand escaped and a blood light erupted. Immediately, the blade swelled to 10,000 feet. The enormous blood blade was suspended in the sky with an evil aura that seemed to have a form gathered around it. Blood light surged over the blade, and his soul fluttered under this blade. Blood god tearing sky. The evil aura agglomerated over the blood blade. Hun Sha's eyes became cold. The blood blade rushed downwards, and a deafening sonic boom rumbled over the sky. The space within a hundred thousand feet collapsed as the blood blade passed. A hundred thousand feet large deep gully had also appeared on the plains tens of thousands of kilometers below. The gully was not wide, but it was deep to the point of appearing bottomless. Gu Dao's expression became grave as the blood blade rushed downwards. 
The green rod in his hand swelled rapidly before violently colliding with the blood blade. Bang! An indescribable frightening wave swept over the sky. The plains, which was tens of thousands of kilometers large, had sunk by dozens of feet. Most of the mountains had collapsed and turned into dust. The destructive force from a fight between seven star Du Shengs was actually this terrifying. Swoosh! The blood blade flew out and its size rapidly shrunk. Finally, it swiftly shot towards the direction where Hun Sha's body was located. However, the blood blade was about to touch that figure when the latter suddenly disappeared. After image? Gu Dao's eyes suddenly shrunk. He rotated his gaze, only to see that Hun Sha had appeared in a flash on the mountain in the distance where Xiao Yan was at. That earth-shaking attack from earlier was merely a distraction that Hun Sha had used. His aim was still to capture Xiao Yan. Brat, I have said that you cannot escape. Hun Sha's body appeared in front of Xiao Yan in a ghost-like fashion. He grabbed with his hand and the fire cauldron collapsed. However, Xiao Yan's tightly shut eyes were suddenly opened, just as the former's hand was about to land on the top of his head. An aura that was many times stronger than earlier surged towards the sky. Dark clouds immediately churned, and there was a faint thunder resounding over the sky. Six Star Du Sheng? You have actually refined a Tier 9 mysterious pill? Han Sha's expression suddenly changed after detecting Xiao Yan's stronger aura. Murderous intent rose within his eyes. He not only did not slow but has become even faster. Have a taste of this. Xiao Yan did not reveal the slightest fear in the face of this fatal strike by Hun Sha. He let out a cold laughter. Suddenly, golden dragon symbols surfaced on his arm. The thunderbolts flashing within the dark clouds in the sky dimmed after these dragon symbols appeared. It was as though they had met something terrifying. Something's wrong. Hun Sha glanced at the golden dragon symbol on Xiao Yan's arm. Without knowing the reason, Hun Sha felt a little unease rising within his heart. However, it was already not in time for him to stop his attack at this moment. His palm wind became increasingly sharp as he ruthlessly smashed violently down from Xiao Yan's head. Go! A death godlike palm was rapidly being magnified in Xiao Yan's eyes. In the next instant, his arm suddenly trembled and the golden dragon symbol suddenly erupted. Finally, it turned into a golden lightning that shot out from his finger at a speed which was difficult to detect with his naked eye. Chi. The golden lightning had collided with Hun Sha's palm in an instant. Immediately, the sharp wind on the latter's palm collapsed. The lightning easily penetrated through his palm. Bang. A great force that could not be resisted came striking at Hun Sha the moment the lightning struck his palm. His body flew backwards. A continuous stream of blood shot out from him. This. Gu Dao, who had swiftly rushed over, was startled as he watched this scene. His eyes were filled with shock and uncertainty as he looked at the golden lightning that flashed from Xiao Yan's finger and struck its target. He could sense an energy that caused even his heart to palpitate from it. Bastard, what is that thing? Hun Sha's body was stabilized in the air in a somewhat miserable manner. He looked at the charred black bloody hole on his hand. His defense from earlier was completely useless. If that strike was directly aimed at his head, it was likely that even he would be seriously injured. Swoosh. Intense sound of rushing wind was suddenly transmitted from a short distance away, just as Hun Sha's expression had changed. Clearly, a large group of people were swiftly hurrying over. Xiao Yan, remember this. I will definitely make you repay for this ten times over. Hun Sha clenched his teeth with great unwillingness. He also understood that he had lost his last opportunity. Immediately, he let out a vicious roar towards Xiao Yan, before his body turned into a ray of black light that rushed into the distance. Xiao Yan indifferently looked at Hun Sha, who had disappeared into the distance. Only then did he slowly lift his arm. At this moment, his arm no longer possessed his feeling of the nine mysterious golden lightning's strength. Even his current self was only able to barely control it. End of chapter. Chapter 1583. A shocked expression rose within Yao Ling's pretty eyes as she stood a short distance from Xiao Yan and watched Hun Sha turning around and flee. Clearly, she did not expect that Xiao Yan was actually able to frighten off such an expert. Mr. Xiao Yan, have you refined the Tier 9 mysterious pill? Yao Ling could not resist opening her mouth and asked. Being an alchemist, she was naturally well aware of just how terrifying a Tier 9 mysterious pill was. Hence, it was a little difficult for her to imagine that Xiao Yan was actually able to refine it within this short 10 minutes. How can it be so easy? I have merely refined a portion of it. Xiao Yan shook his head. A wild joy rose within his eyes. 
it was unexpected that the tier 9 mysterious pill was actually this terrifying. He had only just refined a portion of it, but it had already allowed his to progress from the advanced level 5 star Du Sheng class to the 6 star Du Sheng class. No wonder even Hun Sha greatly coveted such miraculous pill. If I completely refine the tier 9 mysterious pill, I might perhaps be able to steadily reach the intermediate level, 6 star Du Sheng. Xiao Yan made a brief estimation. The joy within his eyes involuntarily became denser. He must completely refine the medicinal strength within his body once this matter comes to an end. Ha ha, it looks like I have intervened for no reason this time around. Gu Dao slowly walked through the air and finally landed beside Xiao Yan. His eyes swiftly swept over the golden dragon, which had swiftly scattered from his hand. He smiled without a change in his expression. Elder Gu Dao really knows how to joke. If it is not because of your quick intervention, my body might have already exploded from having too much medicinal strength. Xiao Yan hurriedly stood up, cupped his hands together and laughed. Oh. What kind of medicinal pill is it? Even you cannot endure it? Gu Dao expression changed slightly upon hearing this. A tier 9 mysterious pull. In order to escape from Hun Sha, I have no choice but to swallow it. Xiao Yan laughed. Tier 9 mysterious pill. Gu Dao's mouth twitched slightly. He smiled bitterly and shook his head. It must be said that Xiao Yan was really blessed to the point where even he was envious. Even Gu Dao had never enjoyed a medicinal pill of this tier. Elder Gu Dao. The distant rushing wind sound had swiftly approached while Xiao Yan and Gu Dao chatted. Dozens of figures swiftly hurried over. Their eyes were extremely startled as they swept over the completely messy destroyed plains below. Finally, they hurried towards the mountain where Xiao Yan trio were located. They landed one after another and respectfully spoke to Gu Dao. Xiao Yan's eyes randomly swept over that group of people. He was stunned to find that the leader was actually someone he was familiar with. It was Ling Quan, whom he had some grudge against back then. While Xiao Yan had discovered Ling Quan, the latter's eyes had also glanced at him. Immediately, his expression became a little unnatural. Although he had been in the Gu realm, he had heard a great deal about the various incidents related to Xiao Yan in the Central Plains during these years. Every single one of them could let him look up to Xiao Yan. However, over a decade ago, this current giant-like existence on the Du Qi continent did not even have the ability to fight him. The world was indeed changing far too rapidly. Elder Gu Dao, we have hurried over as fast as we could after detecting the activity here. May I know? Ling Quan seemed to be the leader of the group. He looked respectfully at Gu Dao and asked. Everything is fine now. The person who have come this time around is one of the four demon saints of the Hun clan, Hun Sha. Gu Dao waved his hand and spoke in a faint voice. The expressions of Ling Quan and the rest changed drastically upon hearing this. His face contained some shock. The four demon saints of the Hun clan were the top experts from the Hun clan. Their status were similar to the Gu clan's three immortals in the Gu clan. Other than the clan head and a few other individuals, no one could be compared with them. Just look at yourself. Xiao Yan is quite a lot younger than all of you. Yet, he is able to easily survive while being chased by Hun Sha. Earlier, he had even nearly managed to break Hun Sha's arm. If the younger generation of the Gu clan can produce such a person, our Gu clan will definitely prosper in the future. How would the Hun clan dare to bully us? Gu Dao frowned and reprimanded in a deep voice after seeing the change in their expressions. Understood. Elder is right. Even Ling Quan did not dare to argue after being reprimanded by Gu Dao. He hurriedly nodded in agreement. The corner of his eyes secretly glanced at Xiao Yan. However, he could only laugh bitterly and shake his head within his heart. Someone like Hun Sha was basically like a legend in their hearts. Yet, Xiao Yan was not only able to successfully escape from his hand, but was even able to injure and force him back. Regardless of how proud he was in his heart, Ling Quan had no choice but to admire this ability of Xiao Yan. Elder Gu Dao should not overly praise me. If it is not because of your intervention, Xiao Yan might not be able to stand here in one piece. Xiao Yan felt helpless at seeing Gu Dao using him as an example. His expression quickly became serious as he spoke in a deep voice, Elder Gu Dao, I wonder if you can allow me to meet clan head Gu Yuan. The matter of the Yao clan being annihilated is not a small one. The Hun clan is definitely up to something. What? Ling Quan and the others by the side, who had just stood up, had a drastic change in their expressions. Both of their eyes were filled with disbelief as they looked at Xiao Yan. The Yao clan was actually also eliminated? 
this matter is indeed extremely critical. If you have not come and inform us, we will likely not know what have happened to the Yao clan even until now. It seems that even the clan chief is unable to sense some of the tricks of the Yao clan. Gu Dao's face was grave as he mentioned this matter. He glanced at the look of despair on Yao Ling's pretty face. He softly said, it seems that we will have to invite the clan heads of the Yan and Lei clan. The action of the Hun clan this time around is clearly targeting all the ancient clans. If they did not do anything, it was likely that they would all fall into the demonic hands of the Hun clan. Xiao Yan slowly nodded. This action of the Hun clan had clearly placed them on the opposing side of all the ancient clans. However, no one knew who would have the last life. Gu Dao did not say anything more as he was aware of the seriousness of the matter. After sending Ling Quan and the others back to Gu City, he immediately led Xiao Yan and Yao Ling to swiftly enter the Gu realm without stopping. The news had expectedly stirred a huge commotion after it was spread into the Gu realm. All of the experts within the Gu clan were stirred by the commotion. The Yao clan had unknowingly been destroyed by the Hun clan. This technique had already exceeded the ability of the Gu clan. Could it be that the Hun clan was really planning some schemes? The many elders from the Gu clan had all arrived in a hall with an extremely grave atmosphere. On the leader's seat was Gu Yuan, whom Xiao Yan had met once before. His expression was extremely deep. At a glance, he appeared just like an ordinary person. However, at Xiao Yan's current strength, he was vaguely able to sense just what kind of terrifying strength was hidden within this body. This person was a true peak expert of the current Du Qi continent. There were three old men clothed in white on Gu Yuan's left. Gu Dao was amongst them. It was possible for Xiao Yan to sense a mighty aura that was not inferior to Gu Dao from them. It was likely that they were the other two of the Gu clan three immortals, who possessed an extremely high status. Xiao Yan saw some familiar faces from the many elders' seats. However, the gazes that these familiar faces used to look at him were a little complicated. When Xiao Yan had arrived at the Gu realm back then, he merely had the strength of an ordinary Du Zun. Although he was quite strong, it was difficult for the Gu clan to hold him in high regard. However, within a short few years, the Du Zun from back then had leaped into becoming a Du Sheng existence. Moreover, he was a genuine six-star Du Sheng. There was only a mere one-star gap when compared to the Gu clan three immortals. On the right side of Gu Yuan were some of the younger generations of the Gu clan. An elegant and beautiful figure sat at the front. Those bright eyes were focused on Xiao Yan the moment he appeared. Her eyes roamed gently, giving her a gentle and alluring appearance. This beauty was naturally Shunner. Xiao Yan greets clan head Gu Yuan. Xiao Yan did not dare to be the least bit disrespectful towards this peak existence in the world. He cupped his hands together and greeted respectfully. Yao Ling beside him also bowed respectfully. Ha ha. Within less than a decade, you have actually reached such a level. There is hope for the revival of the Xiao clan. Xiao Xuan will perhaps be extremely pleased if he knows of this. Gu Yuan looked at the young figure within the hall. A smile surged on his face as he nodded. His voice was full of praise. This had caused many elders to quietly laugh bitterly. There had not been a single person in the Gu clan who had received such an evaluation by the clan head during all these years. Additionally, you should can me uncle. Although my seniority has far surpassed yours by many times, she is ultimately my daughter. A flush quickly flashed across Shunner's pretty face after she heard Gu Yuan's words. Many of the younger generation from the Gu clan below were greatly startled. By speaking in this way, Gu Yuan had seemed to accept the relationship between Xiao Yan and Shunner. Thank you, Uncle Gu Yuan. Xiao Yan also understood the meaning in Gu Yuan's words. It seemed the matter of him having taken Shunner's virginity did not escape from the sharp eyes of these old cunning foxes. Immediately, he rejoiced a little within his heart. Fortunately, his current strength could be considered amongst the top even within this Gu clan. Otherwise, it was likely that this matter would not be resolved with such simplicity. Would the Gu clan hand Shunner, whom they viewed as the greatest treasure in the clan, to a mediocre person? Tell us about the matter of the Yao clan. Gu Yuan smiled and waved his hand. His eyes swept over Xiao Yan, finding him increasingly pleasant to look at. Only such an outstanding young man was worthy of his daughter. Xiao Yan's face became grave as the important matter was brought up. He exchanged glances with Yao Ling beside him. After musing for a moment, he suddenly asked, May I know if uncle had heard of the so-called Tunling clan? Crack. The sound of cups shattering sounded continuously within the hall the moment Xiao Yan's words sounded. The many elders lifted their heads abruptly. 
Their eyes stared intently at Xiao Yan. Those eyes actually had some fear within them. Xiao Yan's heart sunk after seeing the reaction of these elders. Just what was the origin of this Tunling clan? Even a clan as strong as the Gu clan was so terrified of them. End of chapter. Chapter 1584. The Secret of the Hun Clan. Tunling Clan. Gu Yuan's face had clearly trembled slightly when Xiao Yan uttered those words. He immediately inhaled a breath of deep air. His eyes stared sternly at Xiao Yan as he asked, Why would you ask this? Uncle Gu Yuan should be aware that the Hun clan possessed an ability devouring flame, right? Xiao Yan verified. Yes. Back then, I have once exchanged blows with the Nihility Devouring Flame and seriously injured it. After which, there has been no longer any news of it. Er should be recuperating. Gu Yuan nodded and replied. Xiao Yan's brow twitched slightly. He once again inhaled a breath of cold air in his heart in the face of Gu Yuan's strength. He had clearly witnessed the strength of the Nihility Devouring Flame in the Yao realm. Despite the Yao clan using all of its strength to summon the soul fragment of Yao Di, the latter was still destroyed by the Nihility Devouring Flame. It was unexpected that the frighteningly strong Nihility Devouring Flame had been seriously injured by Gu Yuan before. Xiao Yan exchanged glances with Yao Ling beside him. After which, he began to describe all that had happened in the Yao realm in detail. This included the Taoling clan that the Nihility Devouring Flame had turned into. How could this be possible? How can the Nihility Devouring Flame turn into the Tunling clan? Some elders exclaimed in disbelief after Xiao Yan had spoken. Uncle Gu, just what exactly is this Tunling clan? Xiao Yan frowned slightly as he looked at Gu Yuan. The latter's brow had been tightly knitted together. The Tunling clan is an extremely mysterious clan during the ancient era. According to the records in the ancient books, it had once stirred countless bloody storm over the Duki continent. Gu Yuan sighed. His tone was grave as he said, it is common knowledge that the inheritance of the ancient clans relies on their bloodline strength. If the clan's bloodline strength become exhausted, the clan will be no different from an ordinary person. In summary, every ancient clan will have a time when their bloodline becomes exhausted. Of course, the precondition is that the clan does not produce any other elite du di again. Xiao Yan nodded quietly. It was precisely because the bloodline strength of the Xiao clan was exhausted that the Hun clan had the opportunity to destroy it. There will ultimately be various kinds of mysterious things being formed in this world. The Tunling clan is one of the. They possessed an extremely terrifying ability. This was the ability to devour the bloodline strength from other ancient clans in order to extend the time before the bloodline strength of the clan is exhausted. In order to allow the clan to continue surviving back then, the Tunling clan had actually targeted the ancient clans. That was a great calamity of the Duki continent. Many ancient clans were destroyed by the Tunling clan. Moreover, the bloodline strength within the clans were all obtained by the Tunling clan. This act of the Tunling clan had undoubtedly angered the other ancient clans. At that time, many clans had formed an alliance to fight against the Tunling clan together. That era was a time when the Tunling clan was the overlord. Their strength was far from what any other clan alone could compare with. While the Tunling clan was powerful, it was ultimately unable to fight against the combined strength of the many ancient clans. Finally, the Tunling clan was destroyed. The surviving members of the Tunling clan fled in all directions as they were continuously chased by everyone. Since that time, the Tunling clan had never been able to rise again. It had even slowly disappeared from the world and was never mentioned again. Gu Yuan's eyes slowly narrowed after he spoke until this point. He slowly said, I recall that the last clan head of the Tunling clan seemed to have been killed by the Hun clan. Oh. Many people within the large hall had a change in expression upon hearing these words. It seemed that the Tunling clan had completely vanished from the world ever since that time. However, it seems that the Hun clan has continued to exist until now. A glint flashed across Gu Yuan's eyes. It seemed as though he had thought of something. Could it be that the Hun clan is the Tunling clan? Xiao Yan asked in disbelief. I don't think so. According to the records in the ancient books, the Tunling clan had also attacked the Hun clan back then. However, they were eventually repelled. Perhaps. The Hun clan had obtained something from the last clan head. This had allowed them to survive for so many years until now. Gu Yuan slowly said. Clan head, do you still remember those ancient clans that had declined or disappear one after another, after the Duki continent began to seldom produce any elite du Some of the ways that those ancient clans had disappeared were quite mysterious. 
now that I think about it, they were quite similar to what the Xi and Ling clan had experienced. Gu Dao's expression was grave as he suddenly opened his mouth and said. You mean? Those ancient clans did not decline naturally. Instead, they were destroyed by the Hun clan? Gu Yuan asked. After tens of thousands of years, those ancient clans from back then had been replaced countless of times. However, it seemed that only the Hun clan appear completely safe each time. Their bloodline strength appears as though it was endless. Perhaps I am not the only one who finds this strange. Due to this clan being mysterious and unfathomable, however, there was no means to go about investigating it, even if one wished to do so. Now that Xiao Yan have said this, we have no choice but to doubt if this Hun clan possess an ability similar to the Tunling clan. If this is really the case, we will seem to be like a bloodline spring that had been domesticated by the Hun clan. Gu Dao's expression was a little gloomy. His voice slowly resounded over the hall, causing a chill to rise from the bottom of everyone's hearts. There is no need to describe the Hun clan as being this terrifying. Even though they possess an ability similar to that of the Tunling clan, they do not have the ability to domesticate us. Otherwise, Hun Tiandi would not have been seriously injured by an all-out strike from Xiao Xuan back then. Gu. Yuan smiled faintly. Those elders sighed in relief after seeing his calm appearance. Since the Nihility Devouring Flame has appeared, it is likely that he has completely recovered from his injuries. In this way, however, I am aware of how the Hun clan is able to avoid our probing. Gu Yuan's finger gently drew a circle in front of him. After which, he grabbed the circle in his hand and said, this is because he had swallowed the entire realm into his body. Hiss. Many people within the hall inhaled a breath of cold air upon hearing this. Swallowing the entire realm into his body? Was that really something that a human could do? He is not a human. Gu Yuan smiled calmly. A cold glint surged within his eyes. I have not fought with him for so many years. It seems that his control over the devouring power has been increasing. Back then, he still had difficulty pulling something like this off. As for the matter of the Nihility Devouring Flame transforming into the members of the Tunling clan that Xiao Yan had described, perhaps he is the true reason why the Hun clan is able to survive for such a long time. Clan head, you mean? The Nihility Devouring Flame had devoured the last clan head of the Tunling clan? This has allowed it to gain such a mysterious ability? A white-haired old man beside Gu Dao spoke in a somewhat hoarse voice. This should be the case. Otherwise, I am really unable to think of how the Hun clan is able to obtain the ability of the Tunling clan. Gu Yuan nodded. His eyes were slightly lowered, and an icy cold murderous intent flashed across them. The existence of this nihility devouring flame was far too great of a threat to their ancient clans. They must find a way to eliminate it. The hall had also become quiet because of this. No one spoke. None of them had expected that the Hun clan was actually still hiding such things. Moreover, the main reason for them to lean backwards at a loss was the existence of the Nihility Devouring Flame. The Hun clan had attacked the Ling, Shi and Yao clans. It is likely that they have two aims. One is to gather bloodline strength while the other is naturally the Tushi ancient god Jade. It seems. Hun Tiandi is unable to endure any longer. Gu Yuan lifted his head. His eyes looked at the empty space. Those sharp eyes seemed to have penetrated through the space and see the scene he was thinking of in his heart. Hunty Andy, Heaven Emperor. Xiao Yan muttered softly. This name was incomparably overbearing. However, this person did indeed possess the capital to have such a name. The only person standing at the peak of the top experts on the continent who could fight him was likely Gu Yuan. Uncle Gu, how do you plan to deal with them? The Hun clan already possess four pieces of ancient jades in their hands they will likely try to obtain the other four pieces. At that time, they will obtain the Tushi Ancient God Cave, and they might even be able to obtain a secret to advance to the Du Di class. At that time, no one on the Du Qi continent will be able to fight with him. The life and death of everyone will be controlled by the Hun clan. Xiao Yan's eyes stared intently at Gu Yuan as he spoke in a deep voice. Without realizing it, they had actually already descended into such an urgent situation. This slow method that the Hun clan had used to kill them off was draining their strength a little at a time. If this continued, it was likely that the most tragic scene would be enacted. Gu Yuan's expression was as deep as water. No one knew what he was thinking. The other elders of the Gu clan had also remained quiet. Although the incident that had occurred caused them to feel uneasy if they were to decide to start a war with the Hun clan. It would definitely be an extremely miserable big war. They might win or lose in this war. 
the victor survives while the loser would be left with nothing. Even someone as strong as Gu Yuan had difficulty making a quick decision when it came to such a choice. Uncle Gu, currently only three of the eight ancient clans, with the exception of the Hun clan, still survives. If another clan is eliminated, we will perhaps only be able to sit back and wait to die. Xiao Yan finally opened his mouth and spoke in a deep voice, after the pressuring silence continued for a couple of minutes. Fight and there will still be a chance to survive. Continue doing nothing and the incident that the Ling, Shi and Yao clans had experienced will definitely descend upon us. Xiao Yan suddenly raised his voice, causing the bodies of many elders to tremble slightly. Their eyes looked at Yao Ling beside Xiao Yan. The latter's face was filled with grief. Her clan was destroyed and she was homeless. All of the usual haughtiness had vanished. The many pairs of eyes slowly shifted towards Gu Yuan on the leader's seat. It seemed that they were awaiting his decision. Gu Yuan slowly sighed in front of the many pairs of eyes. He lifted his head and looked at Xiao Yan, only to smile. Good little fellow, you are indeed bold. Someone, send a message to the Yan and Lei clan. Invite their clan leaders to come and discuss the matter of life and death. End of chapter. Chapter 1585. Intermediate Six Star. Xiao Yan's tensed heart also let out a heavy sigh after hearing Gu Yuan's words. He had already personally witnessed the frightening strength of the Hun clan. Other than the Gu clan, it was likely extremely hard to find any other faction on the Du Qi continent, other than the Gu clan, which could fight it. If the Gu clan still choose to do nothing, the Sky Mansion Alliance would likely be faced with a threat to its survival. The many elders from the Gu clan within the large hall also revealed a somewhat complicated expression after seeing Gu Yuan making his decision. They understood that the Gu clan would not be able to change its decision after today. The two largest super factions on the Du Qi continent was finally able to fight again after a thousand years. Moreover, this time around, it would likely be a real life and death battle. The victor survives while the loser dies. Gu Yuan's decision quickly spread to the entire upper echelon of the Gu clan. In an instant, the atmosphere within the Gu realm became a little tense. Many experts were being dispatched to the central plains to closely monitor every action of the Hun clan. Xiao Yan did not immediately leave the Gu realm, while the Gu clan had entered into a cautious state. There was still quite a lot of energy from the tier 9 mysterious pill lingering within his body. Having these energy remaining in his body was not beneficial to him. Hence, he must swiftly refine it. Otherwise, these wild and violent energy might once again cause him body some harm. A bamboo house stood on a quiet mountain. Gentle breeze blew, and the bamboo forest swayed. It appeared just like a green ocean wave. Big Brother Xiao Yan, the medicinal ingredients you need are all here. Is there anything else that you are missing? Shunner stood prettily within the bamboo house. Her elegant clothes could not hide her alluring beautiful figure. Her unusually exquisite pretty face contained a gentle smile. Any heroic-like person would become soft under that smile. Many jade boxes were floating in front of Shunner. Various shocking energy was vaguely scattered from within the jade boxes. Clearly, they were not ordinary things. Xiao Yan randomly glanced with his eyes before focusing on the most beautiful figure. He stepped forward and hooked with his arm. The delicate tryst was unceremoniously pulled into his embrace as he laughed, I am still lacking a beauty. Shunara's pretty face turned slightly red upon hearing Xiao Yan teasing her. She glared at him, only to appear extremely exchanting. This caused Xiao Yan to feel his eyes becoming a little heated. The temptation when this goddess like beauty in the hearts of the younger generation of the Gu clan revealed such a bewitching expression was really irresistible. Shunara gently leaned in Xiao Yan's embrace. Her somewhat icy cool hand suddenly removed Xiao Yan's clothes gently. A couple of finger large red bloody scars were revealed. It had been left behind by one of the four demon saints of the Hun clan, Hun Yan, back at the Yao realm. Although the injury had been turned into a couple of shallow bloody scars, it was still possible to guess just how serious the injury was back then. Shunner's finger touched these bloody scar. Those crystal-like clear eyes revealed a little heartache. She gently clenched her teeth and softly said, these fellows from the Hun clan really deserve to die. Ha ha, it is only a small wound. Xiao Yan laughed. He quickly held Shunner's face and directly bit on her gently lips. After which, he finally laughed loudly and released her face, which had become embarrassed. His body moved and he appeared on the bed. With a wave of his hand, the many jade boxes split apart and turned into various medicinal ingredients, which floated in front of him. Shunner, help me stand guard. 
I need some time to refine the mysterious pill's medicinal strength in my body. Try to prevent anyone from disturbing me during this period of time. Xiao Yan's expression became grave as he entered into a serious topic. He let out a low cry, and Little Yi swiftly appeared on his shoulder. It whitened its mouth. A fire cauldron flew out and directly absorbed all of these floating medicinal ingredients. The redness of Shunur's face slowly diminished after she saw Xiao Yan began his refinement. She nodded gently and softly withdrew from the room. She flipped her hand and shut the door. Only then did her hand touched her lips. Her eyes revealed a gentle expression. Ha ha, young miss. An elderly laughter suddenly sounded from behind Shunur while she was being absent-minded. Shunur hurriedly turned around and looked at Ling Ying a short distance behind. Her pretty face reddened as she immediately grinned and said, Old Ling. Ling Ying smiled kindly. He walked to Shunur's side, and his eyes looked into the room. Suddenly, he muttered to himself, Young Mrs. Eyesight is indeed far from this blurry old eyes of mine can compare with. Although I have sensed that young Master Xiao Yan's achievement in the future will likely be quite great back then, I have never imagined that he will be able to reach his current level. Shunur smiled sweetly. Those sparkling pretty eyes contained some pride. She might still remain calm and indifferent when others praised her. However, if they were to praise Xiao Yan, her heart would involuntarily reveal a joy. Ugh, recalling what happened back then really leaves one absent-minded. Over a decade ago, young master was still doing his best in order to defeat Amir Nalan Yanran. Now, however, even the clan head acknowledged his achievement. Ling Yan laughed as he cherished those memories. He still remembered that he had even secretly wrapped Xiao Yan before. After all, the both of them were in two completely different worlds back then. At that time, Xiao Yan would not be able to successfully be with Shunur no matter what. However, these decades of continuous effort had allowed the useless person from the Xiao clan back then to reach the peak of the continent. Shunur sat on the stairs. Her hands held her cheeks and her pretty eyes appeared distant. Finally, she smiled gently. She was very fortunate that she had spent her childhood living in that small Wudan city. Regardless of whether it was now or in the future, the memories would be retained deep within her heart. The medicinal pills that Xiao Yan needed to refine were not of a very high tier. However, it was a little unfamiliar to him. This was because the medicinal pills had the effect of resolving the wild and violent force within the tier 9 mysterious pill and allow him to successfully refine the energy from it. Although it was possible to gradually refine the medicinal strength by relying on the purifying demonic lotus flame, the speed of doing so was not only slower, but it would also result in quite a big loss for Xiao Yan. The tier 9 mysterious pill was not something that he could simply refine as he pleased. If it was not because he had absorbed the energy of the other three embryonic pill, which resulted in some unexpected changes, it was impossible for him to really refine a tier 9 mysterious pill. Since he had already consumed it, he must definitely maximize its effect. With Xiao Yan's current skill, he only required half a day or so to refine these medicinal pills. There were already three different colored medicinal pill floating in front of him when by sunset. The three medicinal pills were the size of a thumb. They had different colors but were filled with spirituality. Xiao Yan opened his eyes. He widened his mouth and directly swallowed the three medicinal pills into his body. His body quickly moved and hurried into the fire cauldron in the midair. Little Yi waved its hand and a pink fire dragon wrapped around Xiao Yan's body. After the three medicinal pills entered Xiao Yan's body, most of the medicinal strength from the tier 9 mysterious pill still lingering within it began to loosen. Adding the support from the purifying demonic lotus flame, the hard energy crystals were quickly melted. It turned into an extremely powerful liquid energy that flowed fiercely within Xiao Yan meridians. At the end, it even emitted waves of swoosh swoosh sound. Xiao Yan sat within the cauldron. His expression was solemn. With an increasing amount of energy being refined into powerful Du Qi that merged into his body, his aura, which had just broken through the six-star Du Sheng class, had gradually become firm and even showed signs of once again climbing slowly. The frightening strength of a tier 9 mysterious pill was once again unleashed. This refinement by Xiao Yan continued for 10 days in the blink of an eye. During these 10 days, the energy of the energy of the tier 9 mysterious pill within Xiao Yan's body had been refined a cluster at a time. Finally, it turned into churning Du Qi, which merged into his body. On the eleventh day, Xiao Yan, who was in the cauldron, slowly opened his eyes. Immediately, many fire dragons rapidly entwined around his body. Finally, it turned into fire lines that were inhaled into his nose. 
The fire cauldron had also quietly disappeared. Xiao Yan's feet gently landed onto the ground. He shut his eyes and sensed his surroundings. A satisfied smile immediately rose onto his face. The result of this refinement was within his expectations. His strength was not only stabilized at the six-star Du Sheng class, but he had even leaped into the intermediate six-star Du Sheng class. This tier 9 mysterious pill had actually allowed his strength to soar by one star. Its effect was really praiseworthy. The tier 9 mysterious pill was indeed extraordinary. Unfortunately, at this level, my body has already become quite sensitive towards the medicinal strength. Even if I consume another tier 9 mysterious pill in the future, it will likely not produce such a result. Unless I consume the even higher grade tier 9 golden pill. Xiao Yan clenched his hand. He immediately felt some regret. If the tier 9 mysterious pill still possessed such an effect, he would do his best to refine it a couple more times. After all, if he was to train normally, he would at least need many years in order to advance by one star. Yet, a tier 9 mysterious pill was able to shorten this by dozens of times. Creak. The door was slowly pushed open as Xiao Yan ended his training. Shunar smiling walked in. Her beautiful figure was full of temptation under the sunlight. Big brother Xiao Yan, congratulations on the advancement of your strength. Xiao Yan smiled after seeing Shunar's saucy smile. He rubbed his hands together. With his current strength, he was able to use the power of the nine mysterious golden lightning. However, there was ultimately a limit to such a strength. Hence, he should not easily use it unless it came to a critical moment. Big brother Xiao Yan, the members of the Yan and Lei clans, have already arrived at the Gu clan. Father has said to invite you over. Oh. Have they finally arrived? Xiao Yan lifted his brow. He immediately nodded. Currently, he was not alone. There was still the Sky Mansion Alliance behind him. Even an ancient clan like the Gu clan would not easily disregard this large faction on the Central Plains. End of chapter. Chapter 1586. Lei Dong. Other than Xiao clan, which was the first to decline, the Gu and Hun clans should be considered the strongest amongst the eight ancient clans. Ranked behind them were the Yan and Lei clan. The bloodline strength of both clans had not showed any signs of exhausting even after so many years. Hence, the clans were filled with talented individuals. Although they were unable to compare with the Gu and Hun clans, they were far stronger than the Yao, Qi and Ling clans could match. Perhaps it was this reason the two clans were not the first to be eliminated by the Hun clan. A soft persimmon was easy to squeeze. Clearly, the Yan and Lei clan were not included in this statement. Of course, after all the easy targets were destroyed, their turn would come sooner or later. The Gu clan appeared quite lively today. Being visited by the clan heads of the Yan and Lei clans was considered an important matter even to the Gu clan. Hence, their stance was extremely solemn. It could be considered to have given both clan heads sufficient face. By the time Xiao Yan and Shunur had arrived outside the hall, the place was already filled with people. It clearly appeared exceptionally lively. Seated on the left of the leader's seat is the clan head of the Yan clan, Yan Jin. The two of them quietly snuck into the hall. After which, they headed towards a deserted spot. Shunur's finger pointed at a middle-aged man towards the left of the chief seat and softly said. Xiao Yan's eyes looked in the direction where Shunur was pointing towards. One could see a bright red-robed middle-aged man seated on a high chair. The man appeared to be in his forties. He had a somewhat rough appearance. Both of his eyebrows were bright red in color. It appeared as though there were two burning flames. This person's aura is mellow and concealed. He appears just like a cluster of warm devouring flame. It is really quite incredible. However, the feeling he gives me is a little strange. Xiao Yan spoke with a grave expression. From his spiritual perception, the middle-aged man appeared just like a cluster of flame. Moreover, this flame was not hot. Instead, it appeared calm. This was the main reason for Xiao Yan's expression to be grave. The thing that surprised him was that he had actually felt a familiar feeling from within the body of this clan head of the Yan clan. He might only appear to be in his forties, but he is an old demon who had lived for an unknowingly long time. Shunur laughed gently and immediately said, Big Brother Xiao Yan, the control that this clan head of the Yan clan has over the flame has reached the pinnacle level. According to what father had said, there are two types of heavenly flames within his body. One is the ranked 17th Fire Mountain Rock Flame. The other type is the Nine Serene Golden Ancestor Flame ranked 7th on the Heavenly Flame ranking. Oh. The Nine Serene Golden Ancestor Flame has actually also landed in the hands of the Yan clan. 
Xiao Yan lifted his brow and spoke with a deeper meaning in his voice, in other words, the interior of his body also has a merged heavenly flame? I. It is a new heavenly flame from merging the nine serene golden ancestor and the fire mountain rock flame. Although its might could not be compared with your purifying demonic lotus flame, it is able to fight equally with my gold emperor incinerating heavenly flame. Shunner smilingly said. The reason big brother Xiao Yan is able to merge heavenly flames is because of your key method. However, this clan head of the Yan clan completely relies on his control over the flames to merge the two heavenly flames. The difficulty involved is quite great. Xiao Yan's expression was slightly altered. This was the first time that he saw someone being able to not rely on the flame mantra to merge heavenly flames. He clearly understood the difficulty involved. Even with his current strength, it was likely extremely difficult for him to forcefully merge the two heavenly flames together by relying solely on his own strength. After all the erosion properties of the heavenly flames was far too strong. He is indeed worthy of being the clan head of the Yan clan. Xiao Yan sighed softly. He could not help but admire the ability of this Yan Jin. However, Xiao Yan also understood that merging two types of heavenly flames should likely be Yan Jin's limit. If another type of heavenly flame was added, he would likely end up incinerating himself unless he reached THF Du D class. There was no need to even mention merging six types of heavenly flames like Xiao Yan. On the right side of the chief seat is the clan head of the Lei clan, Lei Ying. His strength was similar to Yan Jin, which was at the 8-star Du Sheng class. He is also the strongest expert within the Lei clan. Xiao Yan's eyes once again turned towards the other side. It was possible to see the metal tower-like man suddenly sitting up. His skin was a little black. This person was extremely eye-catching. It was as though there was a huge dragon swimming under the skin. A frightening strength was vaguely emitted. It caused the feet of those close to him trembled slightly. This Lei Ying greatly coveted battles. It was rumored that he had once fought with Elder Xiao Shuin back then. However, he was defeated. Shunar laughed softly and said. Oh. A surprise flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes. He was naturally unaware of these events that had occurred a long time ago. However, Ancestor Xiao Shuin was basically the strongest person in this world back then. Yet, Lei Ying actually dared to fight him. It seemed that rumors of his desire to fight was indeed true. Shunar. A figure suddenly snuck in from outside in a suspicious manner, while Xiao Yan and Shunur were hiding in a corner and chatting away. Xiao Yan let out a low cry towards Shunur. The both of them turned their heads and saw that the person was actually the second general of the Black Submerged Army, Gu Hua, who had entered the Heavenly Tomb with Xiao Yan and the others back then. What is it? Shunur glanced at him in a somewhat doubtful manner. He he. Gu Hua gave Xiao Yan and Shunur an embarrassed smile. After which, he spoke with a bitter expression, I am here to gather reinforcement. Xiao Yan Duo were startled. They looked at Gu Hua with stunned expressions, which clearly indicated that they were unaware of the latter's meaning. This was all caused by those fellows from the Lei clan. The moment they arrived at the Lei clan, they began to roam all around and purposefully provoke many from our black submerged army to fight with them. In the end, those people could not restrain themselves and were angered. Moreover, they were completely beaten by the other party. How embarrassing. Gu Hua rubbed his hands together and laughed bitterly. Although I am aware that this is the character of those people from the Lei clan, if we, as the big boss do not step forward after our subordinates are beaten, it would really hurt them. Hence, the few of us have also intervened and oust those fellows back. Xiao Yan involuntarily smiled. These people. Isn't it fine that you have oust them? They are after all guests. Don't tell me that you are planning to give chase. Do you think that father and the clan head of the Lei clan aren't aware of this? However, it is just that they could not be bothered to deal with this matter between the younger generation. Shunar rolled her eyes and said. That's right. It is fine after we oust them. However, those fellows refused to admit defeat. They found some reinforcements that defeated Gu Xin, Gu Yao and I. Gu Hua's expression was a little depressed. Being defeated in his home ground would more or less hurt his pride. After all, he was one of the four great generals of the Black Submerged Army. Isn't it fine to get big brother King Yang to resolve this matter? He is the first general of the Black Submerged Army, the chief of the whole Black Submerged Army. Big brother King Yang was also defeated by that person. Otherwise, I wouldn't have come to look for you. Gu Hua hesitated for a moment before he finally laughed bitterly. Oh. Xiao Yan's and Shunur's expressions were finally slightly altered after hearing those words. 
the current Gu King Yang was an elite two-star Du Sheng. There was actually a member of the younger generation from the Lei clan who could defeat him? Could it be that person? Shunar suddenly knitted her brow and asked. That's right. Gu Hua nodded in a depressed manner. He remarked, it is unexpected that he has actually become this strong. Who is that fellow? Xiao Yan asked with some curiosity. Lei Dong, the most dazzling genius within the Lei clan in hundreds of years. He had once stayed within the Lei Realm Lightning Demon Pool for five years, lasting one year longer than the record made by Lei Ying when he was younger. Although part of the reason is because of the grooming by the entire clan, there was no doubt about his ability or talent. It is rumored that the Lei clan is planning to groom him to be the next clan head. Shunner amused for a moment before replying. Xiao Yan nodded slightly. It was unexpected that there would be such an outstanding member of the younger generation from within the Lei clan. It seemed that this Lei clan did indeed have a strong foundation. Additionally, the Lei clan has once come to the Gu clan with a marriage proposal. Moreover, many elders had approved of it at that time. However, this matter was subsequently temporarily shelved aside due to some other matters. The main characters of the marriage, which did not come to be, were Lei Dong and me. Shunner spoke in a somewhat helpless manner. Ugh. Xiao Yan was startled. It was unexpected that this person had actually tried snatching his future wife. Shunner, although that fellow greatly coverts battle, this place is after all the Gu clan. If those fellows are allowed to simply return after this, we will likely end up appearing inferior when we meet them in the future. Gu Hua rubbed his hands together and laughed. Therefore, Shunner, can you lend a hand? Boring. A completely meaningless fight for one's pride. Shunner glanced at Gu Hua and spoke indifferently. He he, if you do not wish to intervene, why don't you ask brother-in-law Xiao Yan to help earn some pride for our black submerged army? Although even the clan head is satisfied with brother-in-law Xiao Yan, the brothers from the black submerged army has the numbers. We will ensure that your wedding is extremely lively when the time comes. Gu Hua was not anxious after hearing Shunner's words. He directly turned towards Xiao Yan and smilingly said. You. A flush swiftly rose on Shunner's pretty face after hearing Gu Hua's words. She immediately curled his mouth and said, it seems that your target isn't me, but big brother Xiao Yan. Gu Hua laughed. His eyes were immediately heated as they looked at Xiao Yan. He laughed, what do you say? Brother Xiao Yan, do you want to experience the ability of the younger generation of the Lei clan? Currently, big brother King Yang is delaying them. Xiao Yan involuntarily smiled after being stared at by Gu Hua's heated eyes. His heart involuntarily felt a special feeling. After having been interacting with those old demons, it seemed as though he had already forgotten about his age. According to his age, he should be currently like Gu Hua and the rest, who were experiencing a period of time when they were hard-edged and arrogant. All right. We'll do as you say. Lead the way. Allow me to see just what ability that person who had attempted to snatch my wife has. End of chapter.